Hello and welcome back to the Memorial Ground. It's Farnham Town versus Ballum in the Cup Final, Southern Combination Cup Final. And I'm joined with two people this evening, very different uh, to a week ago. I'm joined with Frankie Hobbs, but also Mark Godfrey's joined me again. Hello, Mark Godfrey. Hello, thanks for having me back. Bit of a lucky charm. Exactly, you've never seen us lose. That's true, that's true. You were here for Jersey, uh, first game of the season, 1 1, here for a thriller. 10 days ago, uh, and then back for today. Cup and final. And quarter final, don't forget. Oh, true, yeah, you are. Uh, away at Ashford. The, um, it's busy. It's busy already, Frankie Hobbs. It's been a wild season of growing attendances, and today looks like no different. Yeah, look, it's been, a, been an up and down season for, for both teams, really, but Farnham especially have ended the season strong. Uh, attendances have been really strong all season. Perhaps took a little bit of a dip in the middle of the season when form weren't so good, but under Paul Johnson and Jimmy here, but you know the, the club's gone from strength to strength. There should be a big number in here tonight, looking for Farnham to win their first cup since 2016. Yeah, and it's and it, I mean already just looking at it, we're, we're a few hundred already. Uh, I know there's a massive queue uh, at the turnstile. I've just had a phone call from Tom of the Herald trying to get in, and he's had to go through the could, side door. Could there be a delayed kickoff due to no. crowd congestion at the turnstile? <laughs> Maybe. Mark. Maybe. Or they're just getting pints. I'm not sure. It's a very <laughs> hey, long Whatever kick. the reason, um, <laughs> Frank, we, we've played Ballum twice this season. We've lost to them 2-1 at their place earlier under a uh, different management team. The management team uh, brought Ballum here and uh, we won 3-2 in the last minute of Flatman goal. What, what, what are we looking out for from this Ballum side? Yeah, look, Ballum, Ballum are a good technical side. I'd say they're probably going to dominate large periods of possession. Um, really look to work and open in. Uh, they're, they're very tactically uh, aware. Uh, Farnham will be looking to hit them on the break with pace. Um, but Ballam, Ballam are gonna come here and look to spoil the party. You know, it's very rare that you have a cup final at one team's ground. So to do that here at Farnham just gives Ballam that extra motivation and, and, and they should come here and, and have a lot of confidence. And who are the sort of players you're looking out for in this Ballam side to, to cause Farnham problems? Obviously they scored two goals here in a 3-2 in a thriller that went to the wire. Um, you know, who, who are the sort of players that you're, you're going to be looking out for on the pitch? Look, a lot of the play comes through Dan David. Um, he looks to sort of start attacks, but really when you're looking for moments of magic and you look for that in cup finals, it's Tom Reid up front. Um, when you've got a player that, like Lewis Flatman for Farnham, is capable of scoring from anywhere, it keeps you in any game. Um, and Farnham Town's team is completely unchanged. Um, we'll go through the team in a bit, but Mark, um, Flatty did the business uh, 10 days ago here in extra time to get us into this final. What could he be, the difference be tonight? Well, I think I'd like to take some credit for that because I spent most of the evening saying, like, if he could just find the right pass or the right finish, get himself into a, a pocket of space, he will be the game changer. Uh, and it did, did prove to be in that little two minute spell where, where we managed to score twice. Um, I think if he can do the same again tonight, but I think we need to get more of a um, just better execution on the ball um, because he's so technically gifted. You can see he gets, likes to get his head up, spread the ball around. And if after a long season, it's still a bit of a sticky pitch, but if we can get the right pass at the right time, the chances that we created in that in that game um, were far outweighed anything Virginia would, were doing. And if we can create those sort of chances again tonight, then it's going to be a goal fest. And you mentioned the pitch there, Mark. Uh, Ten days ago, we had a mad scramble to get the game on. Uh, with a same day recovery team uh, with Lake Farnham making an appearance. Last night, Frankie Hobbs, we were down here at 10 pm pumping Lake Farnham off the pitch after another torrential downpour. How lucky are we, genuinely, that this match is even happening tonight? It was more like River Farnham last night than, than Lake Farnham. Um, but yeah, it was absolutely. If you came here last night, I think most people thought there was no chance this game happened. Um, luckily, Farnham are blessed to have such a great group of volunteers able to get the game on um, and look this, this, we're in the middle of May here non-league seasons end in April so we needed to do everything we could to get this game on and we have um, I think the pitch is probably not in the best condition it's been all season but it's, it looks brilliant in areas but there's there's areas where there was a, 
a lot of water last night, very much in front of us, um, in front of both dugouts there are problem areas. Um, we've actually had to use some sand in front of the home dugout. Yeah, I did a long jump as I came across <laughs> actually. Um, it does get a little bit sticky here on the near side, on this touchline, but um, other than that, just walking across, it still feels like an absolutely brilliant pitch. And if this pitch wasn't as good as it, as, as it is, 100%. there's no way the game could go ahead. Um, it still feels like a, a pitch you can actually pass the ball on, it's flat as anything. Um, and Frank, the Farnham Town fans are already chanting, singing. Um, how important have they been at, towards the back end of the season getting behind Johnson's men? I think it's important in football when, when the fans and the players come together and, and everyone at the club does. If you, you, know, you feel like you're all pulling in one direction. Um, and I think they've done that. Really from, from the sort of turn of the year when, when, when Johnson and Hibbert came in, they've pulled it, pulled it together. You know, the, the addition of a few drums in there, it sounds stupid, but just something like that can really spark a fan base. And that, the clock enders group that we see behind the goal, grows every single week um, so yeah we're just looking what, to see what that what significant grow. change have you seen in the club since the since the changes you the club have made say again mate sorry what, <laughs> what sort of changes do you see in the team particularly in the team structure and the makeup yeah since, look, since halfway through the season I think they they have a I think under the last management team perhaps it was one way of playing and if that didn't work there wasn't really a plan B whereas I think the guys are a lot more pragmatic um they set up really well on the break, and, and, and the personnel here is a lot more pace in the team. You know, they're almost happy to let the other the other team have the ball, sit in. When that first pass comes into midfield, then they press, then they spring the counter attack, and you can see with players like Shams that the pace is. So that gives that gives us an out ball, right? It gives us a, an ability, even if we're under the cosh a little bit, or we're perhaps not getting as much of the ball. There's always that threat there, and it's a good 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 sort of clash of styles, really. Ballam like to dominate the ball, Farnham like to hit people on the break. So it's, it's almost that um, classic, uh, you know, matchup that you see, two opposing styles. Um, and the sort of management team are coming out now, so we're only moments away. What time is it? 19.43. So we've got two minutes away from kickoff here in the cup final. Um, and uh, hello, sorry. Match balls, that's always your role. That was um, going to be my question, actually. How many match balls do we have? So, yeah, there was a running joke during the semi-final that we were low on match balls. I think um, we have seven in play this evening. Seven match balls. If we lose some early, uh, that then we will... Uh, then we will start uh, worrying if we get down to sort of three or four match balls remaining because they do go missing in neighbouring houses. Um, okay, so in front of you, you see the home side, Farnham Town, and in goal you've got Pat Nash, uh, right back Brad Corzani, left back Tom Smith, Ange Jaja and Max Meat in centre half. In centre midfield, Lamar Caroma and Richie Mbele on the right hand side, Owen Dean. On the left-hand side, Lamin Cisse, and then in behind, Shamal Edwards up front, you've got Lewis Flatman, a number 10. On the bench, Joe Salden, Matty Sermon, who plays for the first time in about three months after injury, uh, Anton Matthews and Kynan Wright. Um, Frank, Matty Sermon's back. Um, yeah, big. He, he broke his collarbone about three months ago in a, in a Sunday league match. Wasn't too happy about that. Yeah, big. Came in, made a big immediate impact. It was a real shame that he got injured, but he's back, and I think he'll be looking to make an impact. You can see him there, just seems to be misplaced. Um, and the players have come out of the tunnel, and it is, it's rocking in here for a Wednesday night in the middle of May that we genuinely didn't believe was going to happen. It has quite a similar feel to that Jersey game in, in, in how it's a sunny evening, there's a lot of people here. I thought the same thing, actually. It's funny, it's sort of come full circle this yeah. season a little bit. Um, Very different team on, on display. And astonishing to have such a, such a wonderful... It's actually really good conditions for football. Yeah. Um, and players shaking hands, and we are going to be underway in probably about 60 seconds' time. Um, it is a lovely evening. The stand is absolutely packed. Sorry, mate. You want to do the away team? Okay. Is it on screen? Have I got my away team in front of me? Okay. The away team is in goal, Hayden Reed, right back, Ed McCrea, uh, Kojo Kai, Dan David, Mark Palmer, Jake Henry, Alec Fidesz, Jack Hare, Tom Reed, number nine, player that Frankie Hobbs talked about earlier, James Anderson, Thomas Woshaw, and on the bench, Ali Hajaji, Andre Cruz Rosa, Luis Fakwasen, James Adebayo, and Jack Gordon. 
So always a, always a big occasion for the referees here as well. You know, they're selected for these cup finals. Um, big day for them. Very rare at this level of football you get a fourth official as well. So something to just watch out for. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how our management deal with the fourth official because um, they, they enjoy dealing with the linesmen at times. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the man right below us. Um, he is happy, however, with the sand pit right in front of him. Um, it'll be interesting here if Ballum turn Farnham around. How much impact do you reckon, Frank, um, it, ha it has on Farnham shooting towards the clock end in the second half? We saw that in Virgin at the Virginia Water game. You know, that, that you want that clock end to sort of suck the ball in the goal. Um, and I think teams that do come here and, and swap ends often do real, really see a benefit. We see it with, with Liverpool Anfield. A lot of teams like to put... Liverpool were attacking the cop in the first half. We, we talked about it, Mark, 10 days ago, didn't we? You said it was a mistake for Virginia Water to not, not turn us around. Because we were kicking both in the second half and the second half of extra time, both towards the clock end, and that's where we scored our goals. Anything you can do, right? Because, I mean, there isn't necessarily that much of a, an in, incremental advantage to playing at home at this level, but potentially, you know, shooting towards your own fans in the second half might be. Um, so do anything you can to, to disrupt that as the away side. Um, OK, and we're about to find out if that is going to happen. Uh, Lamar Caroma, the captain, uh, in there with the referee and uh, the Ballum captain in the middle as well. Right, coin has been tossed. And... Looks like we're staying where we are. First little win of the night for Farnham. First win of the night for Farnham. Lamar's done his job in the middle. It'll be very interesting to see how these, this near side holds up under a bit of studded pressure. Obviously, we, we made sure that the players didn't warm up in these sort of dodgier areas, but um, even Dino now is walking around it, which is a concern rather than through it. Okay, so it will be Ballum to kick us off. Uh, it's lovely to still be light out. It's nearly eight o'clock. It is gorgeous blue skies. And uh, we are about to get underway. In a packed house at the Memorial Ground, the cup final is underway. Already, already can see it sticking in that area. Richie and Bele gets the ball forward straight towards Shamal Edwards and that will be as we saw last time the theme of the evening miss header there from Lamin Cisse that side of the pitch is actually quite good oh that's a tough challenge and a foul on the Ballum midfielder and they'll have an opportunity to pump this ball into the box early but not necessarily known for their aerial prowess frankly I was more looking to pass the ball around Ballum yeah, you can see and, though. And both already, already, just straight away, looking for the short free kick. Both sides looking to really get a foot on the ball though. There's a little bit of pre-match nerves. You know, these players, even though they've played there before, there is a little bit of nerves about the crowd, the occasion. And even there, you're not the Ballum centre back, not looking straight away for the long ball and into that holding midfielder who will try and run the game. Number eight. Farnham happy to hold off here and wait for the long ball forward. And that's a really good ball, and they're going to pick up the second ball here, and he's slipped. First slip of the afternoon. Don't think it'll be the last. Ball goes in. It's a really good ball. And it's straight in for Ballum. It was just never, ever dealt with. It was never dealt with. And in front of the clock end, Ballum go 1 0 up inside 90 seconds. Yeah, Farnham, Farnham didn't wake up there. It was, uh, even there, they looked like a, they had an opportunity to sort of clear to that. Clear it. Two players unmarked in the box, the ball comes in, and then uh, even with a poor touch, it still seems to fall to a, to a Ballon man. There didn't seem to be really any off. Farnham players in the box. No, but look, sloppy start. Um, if anything, you know, Farnham came out a bit shell-shocked, and they're going to have to deal with that. They're thrown in at the deep end. We've got a big crowd here, and, and, and let's see how they react. Maybe it's one of those ones, you know, where everyone says too early. It is early. They've scored too it early. Is, I mean, it is very early. There's only two minutes on the clock. Um, but it will give them the impetus, Ballum, and it will allow them to play their passing game. Um, and they will be absolutely delighted with that. It was also the first ball in. 
to well, you eat saw, the box. You know, we talked about them passing in the, in the pre-match build-up, and it's actually the first time they've gone long that they've, they've found joy. So no, real, no real pressure on the cross there either. No. Yeah, and no pressure on the cross even when a player had slipped only moments prior. Time up. I think the best thing about that is that it can really kill the atmosphere, and that's the one thing that Farnham has on their side. So they need, they need something quite quickly, I think, to just lift the crowd a bit and settle themselves as well. Get everyone on the ball, everyone get a touch. Ball away by metre. Cissé chases it. That ball goes out. Is it stayed in the bounds? It has. Mark will be delighted as he counts. Oh, but there is a new match ball sent out. That's the beauty of the fourth <laughs> official. True, true. Will he manage the match ball situation better than me last time? He's earning his crust. Ball needs to get on the floor here for Farntown. Needs to get some control back. And like you're saying, you can really take the sting out of the game here with, with a bit of possession. Balham can really grow into this. Um, really the, the worst start possible for Farnham. But makes it more of a cup final. <laughs> Ball back to Pat Nash. Those pretty much nerves are gone. But that's a poor, poor clearance. Balham are happy to have the ball in here. And they go long again out to this left-hand side. Brad Corzani heads it, but it's a second ball again picked up by Ballum. And it's a decent strike, just wide. Just off the pace. Uh, the off the pace there. Not, Dino, Dino just sort of ball watching there, not getting back, not tracking his man. It's almost one of those moments you need a big tackle or a sort of moment just to get one on. I feel like we need something. Let's get the crowd, crowd moving. Long ball forward. Big tackle, something like that, right. Ball goes towards Lewis Flatman, who rises high, but Ballon come out with the ball. Smith with the throw in, into Max Meaton at centre back. Pass it across. Goal to Ange. Judge it into Brad. Ballon pressing very high and seeing a lot of success so far with that high press. That had to go first time. Long throw down this near side. I'm not sure it ever made it in, but it's it's uh it is a ballon throw. That won't be what the doctor ordered. Ballon Surf feet. Moving it nice. To be honest, the pitch on that is a ball out wide as Tom Swift keeps it in. Max Meaton goes long. But it's again that second ball where Vaughn just are slightly off the pace. Yes, go, go, Thomas, go. Go. Yes, Thomas. Pat Nash out of his area. Yes. Yes. Oh, and there is an opportunity here to shoot with Pat Nash out of his goal, but it was tame, tame effort. But again, Farnham not picking up a second ball. It's just twice here that that, that ball's come in to, to Dean and he's just not quite reacted quick enough. Apparently there's still queues at the turnstile here. We're seven minutes into the game. Good flick on by Flatman. Good idea from Shamal Edwards and that is a Farnham throw. This is what Farnham need to build off of. 
I'm going to let people in during the game. Okay. That looked like a foul, but he's got away with it, the Ballum player. And then Jaja here at centre back. Oh, that's a proper tackle. A proper tackle. What's he going to give? That's a bit of a nasty tackle, that. I'm not sure what he's given. Is he given a throw? I think if he, he had this throw? angle, he might have seen the studs up there. But He's given a throw. Never complaints from Ange. The ball, I, I thought he got the ball. I just think the ball needs to go earlier from this Farnham team. He needs to get the ball forward quicker. We definitely need to wake up. It's the last, the last long ball in here. Completely uncontested. No movement, no nothing. We've got to get him. This is where they need to move the ball. Good. Brilliant team. Yes. Yes. Nicely done. Into Corzani. Goes work. into Shamal Edwards. Ball is up and away from Ballam. That's I'm pushing the back by looks things. On referee's not giving it. It is very slippy down that near side. And that's a nicer bit of play from Farnham centre backs. Out wide now from Meaton into Cisse. Not a great first touch, but gets the ball out to Tom Smith. Back to Meaton. Happy to use Pat Nash in goal. Well, that's again not a great touch. I'm not sure he can play in the pitch in that area. Jaja brings the ball forward. He's going to take it a long way forward. Someone needs to cover him. He's absolutely storming through. There is a foul with the referee to play advantage. He's still got the ball. Got to play the pass now. He does. Tom Smith in a wide area. Look to get the ball in. That's a poor, poor cross from Smith. But he's done well to recover that. That's a killer, isn't it? It's a great <laughs> ball. And just brilliantly going forward. Well, we just said that's the sort of... You, know, you need that one moment to get get the crowd going, and it felt like Anne sort of had the weight of Farnham behind him there. <laughs> yeah, and when, you, when your defender's busted a gut and travels 65 yards with the ball, you really want to make sure you put a decent ball in the, into the box at the end of it. But encouraging. Much better. Again, Farnham just caught on the hill slightly as, as they win little headers in that area. It's actually not too dissimilar to the way Farnham started against Virginia Water in that semi where yeah. the first 10 minutes all the second balls uh, anything in the mid middle of the park was, was falling to them and actually once Shamsi was getting involved in the play a little bit more things started going Farnham's way. And that's the sort of thing Farnham again needs to capitalise on these throws in a, in a dangerous area. They need to get bodies around the ball. Into. Nicely done. Into Max Meaton, number five. Tom Smith on the far side. Meaton long towards Shamal Edwards, who does win the header. Straight into the goalkeeper's grasp. A lot of time there at the back, isn't there? Well, they're keeping their width really well. There's always balls like this. Really good ball over the top. That's a it's ball down the good head on all night. Mbele. Mbele driving forward. Back to Meaton, who's starting to get used a bit more in space. As is Tom Smith on this left-hand side. Can he find a ball over the top? Will that hold up? It will for Cissé. Oh, and he's kept it in. Ballum centre back. Meeting with a good header. Into Richie Mbele. He's played a really nice pass there. Built some time for Ange. Into Karoma. Big old scrape here in front of us. On the pitch. Time for Richie now. It's to find a pass. And he does really well into Tom Smith on this left hand side. Inside he comes. Oh, it's an under hit pass, but it falls to Karoma. He finds Brad. 
Owen Dean now with a chance to run at a Ballam defence. He does well. He's, he's be beaten one. Beaten two. He's gone down. And he's given it as a dive. And he's going to book. He's got to be Dean sure there. there. He's got to be sure. It felt like there was contact from where we're standing. I think if you're booking someone for diving, you've got to be 100% sure. It's... I mean, that didn't feel like... You heard the sound. It felt contested. It felt, it felt like there was... Uh, we'd have to look at, look at it back, but... It, it looked like book, a penalty from... Booking him for that feels... Well, he's got, he's got to book him if he thinks it's a dive, right? But it, it felt... It, it felt... Yes, like a penalty, he, he beat two men. He doesn't, yeah, but he could say it's not a penalty without also thinking it's a dive. The leg came out, there was contact. There was contact. It's one we'll have to look at in the replays. From where we are, and we're nicely raised, it looked like a penalty, but we are biased. Tom Smith for the header. <laughs> <laughs> I also thought the Owen Dean uh, penalty against Virginia Water was a penalty, and it was outside the area. Nicely worked by Ballum, just intercepted there by Max Meaton. Tom Smith into and Jaja. Farnham starting to see a bit more of the ball, but they still need to get the ball forward better. They've done well there. Out to Lamin Cisse, who needs to stretch his legs here, and he will try. Farnham Town support still giving it their all back there. Loads of time left on the clock, only 14 minutes gone. Good lad. Oh, indeed. Now on a booking early on. Ball slips under. It turns Brandy. out that that was a penalty. That's, that's twice now we would have been um, on the wrong side of these decisions in the in the Virginia Water game. Clear penalty, three yards in the penalty. No, area. We, we looked at it. Oh, wait, and we had a, we had a camera actually on the far side, oh, okay. and it was it was. So we were, we were right originally. We were right originally. That, okay. We had a perfect camera angle on the far, far side. Almost in line with the penalty area. Referee made a good decision that night. Ball inside the fullback was a nice idea from the Ballam 11. Certainly a better five, the five minutes for Farnham, really. Yeah. Much you know, better. Richie and Lamar got on the ball a bit more. Um, Owen Dean starting to grow into the game a little bit. Lemin Cisse on the other side. Farnham starting to you know, get into the game. And win some second balls. Owen Dean again. Inside, Lewis Flatman. Shamal Edwards, Flatman, tries to shoot, gets blocked, and the ball is out. <laughs> Foul, Farnham. Farnham move it faster. Cissé, into the box. Can he find a cross? He can't, but it's a corner, and this is better from Farnham Town. Getting the ball forward, making things happen. Look, the one thing defenders hate is pace, and and you've got Cissé running at you, it's going to be uh, going to be a tricky evening for that right back. Apparently we're at capacity. We're a capacity crowd. What is capacity? I'm not sure, but it is very, very busy here. <laughs> and so far they're seeing Ballum 1, Farnham 0. Ball in. Well cleared by Ballum. Uncontested second ball. Oh. Flatman. No, it's very, very nice. So Richie cute. and Bele. Goes to shoot. Does shoot. Ooh, goalkeeper gets it at the second attempt. But this is better from Farnham. They've certainly grown into this. Um, you know, even getting Flatman on the ball, those little pockets of space, picking up second balls. When that starts to happen, the game starts to get stretched. Farnham's ball player should have a bit more joy. And that's a foul for Farnham. Ballum's starting to get a bit frustrated with Farnham's possession. First 10 minutes, all those balls into through midfield, through our lines, were just going straight through us. Now every time there's one going in, there's a, there's a Farnham man there to put a challenge in. It's completely changed. Flatty over the ball. Again, Max Meaton sent up. As is Ange Jaja. Ball goes in, and it's a really good ball in. But it's cleared away, and there's not a huge amount of players back for Farnham Town. But Flatman gets the ball. Looks to clip it. Does really well. Oh, and Dean! Oh, it's a really good chance, but the flag is up. It's a really nice pass, though, inside the fullback by Lewis Flatman. I know we joked a little bit when the, when the goal went in 
the whole cliche of it's scored too early, but I think there probably is a little bit of truth behind it in that you haven't had a chance to establish yourself in the game and you've already taken a lead, but you haven't, you know, not everyone's even touched the ball at that point. So are, are you winning the game or are you just, is it just on the on paper? And then how do you approach it after that? You obviously have a game plan. Um, uh, so sometimes I think you can score a little bit early if you haven't got a rhythm yet. So it goes, you know, the game plan goes out the window for, for the team that concede, but also the team that. Uh, it can scored. do, and it does feel like they've lost their way a little bit. I wouldn't want it back there. Oh, it's a really good effort following in there by Shamal, Ed Shamal Edwards. Um, I, as a goalkeeper on this pitch, with the amount of water that was on it overnight, would not want my defender to be passing to my feet right in front of the goalpost. Final happy to press. Press a bit more now. But it means that Ballam have got more players up front. They've got an opportunity here to get the ball forward. Tom Reid. The ball inside the fullback. And Pat Nash is happy to clear those up. Just shows you that if you do beat that initial press, yeah. you're going to get chances. Yeah, but I think Final need to take those risks. Otherwise, they won't get themselves into the game. I think... You know, they have to, we've seen it before at this level, right? Mistakes mean everything. That's 50% you know, of 60% of goals come from mistakes at this level. Ball's fallen for Owen Dean. He's going to beat a man again inside the box. He goes inside, shoots. Ooh, blocked well by the Ballum centre back, Lamar Caroma. And he's stopped for a head injury. I think the ref's brought one there. He's held he, his face. He stayed there for a long time before he made a decision. Management team at Farnham Town not too happy about it, that's for sure. I mean, his feet, his feet look like he's delighted. He's <laughs> winging him like he's in bed. <laughs> um, yeah, Farnham Town have, built, have, have grown into this game, Frank Hills. Yeah, that's, that's, that's for sure. And I think when you've got players like Lewis Flatman, he can start to get the ball at his feet. He can make things happen. You know, even that... It's not just when he's shooting, it's those little clip balls he can put in. It's always just a little bit of quality when he's got the ball. Um, and as uh, per 10 days ago, when there's an injury stoppage in play, I will encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's 320 of you watching live on YouTube. There is a lot more in the memorial ground here. There's probably, if I'm eyeballing it, over 700, 800, I'd say. It's a, At least. It's a packed crowd underneath us. To the left of us, all the way across the clock end, and, and people a full, trying to break in behind and a, us, and a full stand. There's people coming in from behind us. There's people that's still not in through the turnstile. It is 20 minutes into the game. There's also a uh, packed pub in Ballum streaming this game. So if you're watching us from Ballum, shout out to you guys. Yeah, thank you very much for putting this game on, and you'll be delighted as Ballum are one nil to the good. Enjoy your IPAs. Flatman, Mbele, just about wins the ball. Flatman in space here. Oh, not quite the first touch he wanted, but it does get it wide. Gets it wide to Tom Smith in a dangerous area. Ball across the box. Well dealt with by the, fa by the Ballon full, uh, fullback, I think. No, it could be the centre back. Three crosses now from Tom Smith that have all been... Dribblers. Yeah. No, I'm on, no, no nice way of putting it, Mark. No, well, I, I could have put it worse. But... <laughs> <laughs> Mbele's starting to grow into the game, getting on the ball. And that's where Owen Dean... Would have wanted it, probably been able to spin. But he's drifting past players with relative ease. And Bele out to Max Meaton. Tom Smith finding himself with a bit of space here on the left hand side yet again. That's a better ball in. And Owen Dean is attacking it. And he's got the ball. Shamal Edwards. Someone's got to shoot. Louis Cisse blocked. Felt like the, the shot should have come earlier. Felt like the shot should have come earlier. Jaja wins the header. Farnham Town really building into this game. But the midfield need to win those sort of balls. Coroma into Flatman. Flatman spins, finds some space. Moves the ball to Mbele in this midfield, who is very, very handily finding Max Meaton at every given opportunity. Lamins. Lamar comes out with the ball. Coroma just so strong in those duels. And that's where. The duo of Mbele and Karoma work so well. Mbele very good on the ball, although as I say that, he loses it. Ballam's 11. Coming forward. Flatman having to drop in. 
Ball goes wide out to this near side for Ballot. David, number four. And Meaton comes away with the ball, and there's a real chance if he can get the ball forward. Shamal Edwards, who want to kick and run here. Oh, and he, is he going to come out with the ball? He's got the ball. And there's no foul given. Done really well there. Number 11 for Ballard in this wide area where they scored their first goal. Tries to play the ball inside the fullback. No penalty. Shoulder to shoulder. Fantastic. Shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. It, he's just eased him out of that. I think he's gone down very easily. He knew he was never really getting there, didn't no. he? One of those. It would have been one that you'd judge the referee incredibly well, especially harshly for it based on, the, yeah, based on the, the, uh, the dive. Cool. Is there an argument he could have got a yellow card? No, I don't you think know, he dived. You, 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 you could make the argument. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be a very strong one. <laughs> Nash with the ball forward. Flatman goes to jump and flicks it on into Owen Dean who loses the ball. Dean wins it. Shamal Edwards. Now, first time he's got a chance to run at the fence. Shoot, handball, surely. No shouts. <laughs> Just me. And the ball falls straight through to the goalkeeper. Shamsi seeing more of the ball though now, and that's what happened in that Virginia Water game. Was as the defenders got really kind of distracted and bothered by his ability and his pace, that left space for other players, Cisse and so on. It's an interesting one, really, with Shams. He's because of what Farnham do off the pitch. Shams is probably one of the most well scouted players in the league. So you, you, sort, yeah, of come here, you sort of come here expecting that pace. So Lamin Cisse breezes past one. This is what he did. At all towards the back end of the season, wins a throw in. I have to say, Cissé's looked dangerous every time he's gotten the ball. Every little movement's been precise and, and, and with purpose. Karoma, ball in, towards the back stick, no one anywhere near it for Farnham. Again, Ballam happy to go short. Instruction from Belas is for a higher press than we saw at the start of the game from Farm Town. Good, good, keep, keep the ball well in these areas. But they do run the risk if they do lose the ball. Dangerous far and forwards. And that's where that's where they just if they just don't get it right, they will lose the ball to Shamal Edwards or Lewis Flatman. It's very admirable playing that sort of football at this level of football. At one nil up yeah. in a final. <laughs> yeah. On this pitch. Yeah. That's he's offside. It was a really nice pass in behind the fullback. That final ball's been quite good by Ballam actually, those little balls over the top. Been a couple of through balls here. Um, there's still a good threat. Contact. Yeah, there's yeah. still a threat there. You could you could easily see one of these balls going through and causing a real problem. Especially this ball out on our near side here. It's been on all night. Well, I could say all night. We're only 20 minutes in, 25 minutes in. But so it was um, a lot longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> it does a bit. It does a bit. We've had to open up a section of the ground that we weren't planning to open up due to the amount of people here. Is that safe? I don't know. Safe is just not a deal, really. I'm pretty sure it's past the sign that says there's maintenance at work. <laughs> yeah, there's not really. It's a, there's, a, there's a concrete path down there. Nash forward. Edwards up. Does really well. And so do the Ballam defence in order to shepherd it through to the goalkeeper. Edwards and Flatman starting to win their, their headers. Just need to latch onto that second ball. Again, Ballam happy to go short from the goalkeeper. Interesting to see if Farnham do press high. Yes, Anderson! Yes, Anderson! Yes, Anderson! Good! Thank you! Foul given to Ballon. Sort of deep crossing area. I can't think what that's for. And Didn't look the, anything even in Even the Ballon players seem confused. <laughs> this is uh, in the area pitch I'd call the slip zone. But dangerous opportunity here for Ballon. 
to get the ball in. That is how they scored their first goal, even if it was from open play. It's not a dissimilar opportunity. Ball goes in. It's a good one towards the back stick. Header goes out. And there's an opportunity here for a counter-attack from Fon. Flatman. Oh, and he doesn't quite find the pass. Opportunity lost. And Ballum still got men forward. It's a long way to come. It's a good ball, and Nash is out of his goal here. Nash actually done really well. Fon, Fon should be able to recover. It's a good tackle. Ball goes forward. Ball goes forward and they've covered, they've covered it well. And that's a ball to nothing. Fine, I'm happy to get the ball forward fast, but they know Shamal Edwards is a threat in behind. And they would have planned for that. Good Thomas, good Thomas. Chroma. And Bele. Alec, come in! Draws out wide to Corzani, who takes a really nice first touch. And that's a decent ball in. Oh, it's rocketed straight over the bar, but it's a it's a better piece of attack and play from our right back here, Bradley Corzani. Quite a similar goal to, to the one he scored at, <laughs> at, at Bad Shortly, yeah. His only goal for the club. Um, Did he mean that one? I'm going to give him the benefit of that one. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I stress this is biased <laughs> Farnham commentary. He, he beat the man with brilliant. I think that you know, Farnham, when they've got into these wide areas, have looked really, really good. Both fullbacks from Ballum haven't looked the best defensively. 350 people join us here at the Memorial Ground at just after 8:15 on Wednesday evening for ball the cup watch. final. We've lost a ball. Ball watch. There is a ball that's gone over the stand. That will go system. into the car We do have a multiple system, but it's three balls. <laughs> Flatman. Ballum do well to clear. And they just seem to have a man over at all opportunities here as they keep the ball in defence. But that's Shamal Edwards starting to really find some, some luck as Ballum starts to keep the ball maybe too long. Just a bit of a uh, bit of falling out there between two members of the Ballum side. Seems like the coach as well getting involved in that. Is that, is that, does that sort of boil over in a cup final? It absolutely could do. Obviously, they the oh, just going to drop you. There's a ball forward, but it's running straight through to Pat Nash. Long ball from Nash, and that's a much better. Yeah, we've seen three, three, four, five times now where they've given the ball away at the back. I'm not sure who's doing what. Flatman, chance off the throw. Doesn't quite fall from, and now there's an opportunity through. The midfield, and that's a really nice ball over the top into Tom Reed, number nine for Ballum. He'll look to beat the man. And that, that is high, wide, and incredibly handsome. That might end up at Bad Shot Lee. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> bad Shot being the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Create some space nicely, though. And again, that was a nice ball out, out on, the, on this near side by, by Ballum. Again, using that, that opportunity to get the ball forward inside the fullback. Final Town now with the ball forward. Towards Owen Dean. And that's that's Farnham Ball. Hello, Nick. No, what did you get? Farnham can't quite get out there. Bit of frustration, we lost another ball. We're down another ball. Ah, which one's that? Has that gone garden side or car park side? Car park side. It's, it's gone underneath a BMW, Harry. Okay, registration plate. <laughs> YK19, I think it's my car. <laughs> <laughs> Flashy gear. Um, we're, we're getting news from the attendance, um, and it is 20, 32 minutes in, and there are more than a thousand people at the Memorial Ground. We normally see a few people, especially on evening games, fill in at half time, but let's see. The Marco Roma wins the ball high up the pitch. Lamin Ciso cuts inside, looks for Richie and Bele. Back to Caroma, who now finds Tom Smith. 
Farm Towns in full voice behind me. Cissé, Smith with another low drill one. Shaman Edwards! Ooh, and it was better, it was better. Just didn't quite make that strong contact at the near post. Yeah. Never looked like he got hold of it. Yeah. Still Farnham, testing the keeper now, it's yeah, twice. Farnham starting to properly grow into this game. And Tom Smith with the first one of his actually decent balls in. Again, Ballum, happy to play it short. Mbele. Thomas, 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 inside. Does really inside, well. Thomas. And now, Karoma. Into Shamal Edwards. A really nice ball. It's a really nice touch. And he's going to try and beat a man. And he has. Ball goes long to the back stick. But it's going to be won back by Owen Dean, who does really well to get his body in the way and win a very, very smart challenge, Mark Godfrey. Yeah, he slowed himself right down. Uh, gave, gave that overzealous defender every opportunity to pull through the back of him. For a for a, for an 18-year-old, showed absolute bags of experience. Hey, and that's what you get with playing full season at men's football, really. Like, lots of people elect just to continue in the academy system. I think Dino is a good enough footballer to, to play it in an academy football at the age he's, he's at, but he's opted to play men's football and he's got so much better this season. And I think you'll see the same with Pat as well at the back. Um, you know, he's he's left Everton. He's playing men's football now. He's probably learnt more in the last ten weeks than he did for the last year at Everton. But you'll have to ask him that. Ball in. It's long. Oh, goal kick. It's offside anyway. Ah. Could be Max Meaton's first career offside. <laughs> I have to say though, the, the response from going 1 0 down has brought the crowd back into it. Could actually have left everyone a bit flat, but the way they've got their heads up, they've not let it get to them, and they've, they've probably bossed the last 20 minutes. Definitely. It's just how you turn that sort of domination into more clear cut chances, really. Well, yeah. that was our first one, wasn't it? That was our first clear cut chance. Definitely, yeah. You need to stay patient, and ch you know, chances will come, I'm sure of it. Yes, go, go, Thomas, go, Thomas. Tom Smith. Back to Pat Nash, who does well, but there's no one underneath it. And that's a header to nothing, but... Well, and Max Meaton does really well there. If Brad can get this down, and he has. He needs to use the ball, though. He needs to use the ball somewhere. He does really well. Lamin Cisse cuts inside. Tom Smith on the overlap. He finds him. Is it slightly over hit? It is... <laughs> Referee bringing some players together here. It's two Ballon players. It's got the captain. I think it might be something to do with the time wasting. Or, ch or chat. chat, back chat. Mm. I'm not sure what they've got to chat about, really. Lovely Whatever evening. it was, it was a yellow card. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. At least. <laughs> ah, apparently he threw the ball away. I wasn't watching. And that kick is straight out of play. Ballum starting to lose their heads. And when they go long, they don't look so good. Already trying to spoil the game here. <laughs> 37 minutes in. It's a, it's a long time to protect the ball. Ball comes inside. Shamal Edwards. Oh, he's tackled well. But that is poor pass. <laughs> Final win the throw. Alex, the sand I put down earlier is looking worse for wear. It's a nice ball. That's Lewis Flatman. He shot! It's, it was on target, you know. It was really was. Just needed to start the ball a bit further out to the left and if he's going to give it that sort of whip. But. Uh, but it's, it's dropping, contact. it's dropping. Knocking on the door, and what was positive there was a man, the man there to take on the long throw. Well, I'm happy to leave four players up here, though, as they transition. But 
felt soft. Take another foul, a soft foul for a sort of push in the back. Well, I'm still taking an age across every three free kick here. But that's a nice ball into the channel and it will be happily ushered out. Well, that is their that is their ball. They're into the right channel or the left channel. They haven't really found much luck it's through the, the first ten minutes. Everything was coming down there, the Ballam left. And now they seem to just want to hover people down the right. But they're actually getting lots of joy down here. I think that footing might play, play, play an impact in that. A lot of players losing their footing over here. And I just heard the ball slap on the field. <laughs> Bullet header. And this is an opportunity for Ballon to get the ball forward. And they have um, Pat Nash again, who's very happy to play a sort of a sweeper keeper role, Frankie Hobbs, since he came into Farnham Town. I think that's what you get when you come through at an academy these days, you know. I think every goalkeeper has to do that now, pretty much. That's what everyone's looking for. Ball comes through into Brad. He puts the ball in, it's looping. Oh, and it really was close. It really was close. Did it hit the post? Did that maybe even hit the post? Didn't make any sound. More like it's a, I did the goalie get a touch on it, but that was close. And Bele. Out to Ange, who does quite well actually in the end. Triple jump. Kozani, down the, down the line. I mean, Dean tries to beat his man. But, uh, And that's a Farnham throw it. What I will say about the Farnham team is um, we've been good in the second halves. Um, probably quite a fit team. As that, as the game sort of gets more stretched as it does at this level, the yes. players like Flatman, the players like Mbele start to get on the ball a bit more. Long throw, straight into, flat, straight into Shamal Edwards' feet, and he's flicked it past, but could have potentially won a foul there. Oh, that's that's a misplaced kick, which finds Lamin Cisse. Drifts past one or two, but gives away the ball in the final third. And now that looks like it will be a yellow card. Not sure what else they want. It's pretty clear it will be a yellow. Stop the breakaway. Is he going to book it? Yeah. 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 He's going to talk Captain. him through it first, as if he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Laurel Caroma is the second Farnham Town player to go into the referee's book. No, 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 no. We're not asking you to do that. We're not asking you to do that. 376 of you watching on YouTube. If you aren't subscribed already, or if you don't watch the non-league diary series the second to last the penultimate episode came out today uh, and you can subscribe to our youtube channel for more non-league fun but stay with us for the whole 90 minutes here maybe more in this cup final Farnham town throw in on the far side Anderson! Anderson! Come on! Does well. Flatman in a deeper role. Corzani, he's, he's finding a bit of space and he's done very well there. Cut back. Ooh. Falls to Mbele. He beautifully shifts the ball. Owen Dean he wants to come inside every time he gets the ball. He's found the ball. Shamal Edwards. And it's a corner ball. A really nice passenger play there for Farnham. Really knocking on the door. Just, uh, just had to put 50p in the meter. <laughs> yeah, the lights will be coming on, I promise. Oh, I wonder why I was struggling to see. I thought it was just <laughs> old age. It is that as well. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very good. Left Double whammy. Left footed. <laughs> Uh, will be the delivery from Tom Smith on this near side corner. And it goes in, and it's a really good ball in. The Ballon players deal with it. 
quite well, and they've got a chance to counter. There's a man, there's a man over here. Fontan needs to regroup, but they... Ballum did I'm not sure have. why Ballum didn't take that quickly there. Four on two or something like that. Yeah, no chance of offside, still in his own half, making an absolute lung-busting run forward, and he turned it down. Header infield by Ballum. Ball played back to Pat Nash. Out to Ange Jaja. Now Bradley Kozan. Ball goes long. He sliced it a bit, and that will go out for a Ballum. That will go out for a Ballum throw. Wrong club selection. Wrong club selection, and a bit of a shank. Will the floodlights ever come on? Is the question. I see light. Yeah? Yeah. Bradley Kozani. Done well. He's given a foul, not sure what for. Ballum haven't really had a spell of possession for a long time. It's been quite bitty last 10 minutes after Farnham found sort of a 20 minute spell where they were quite good. Yeah, no, you can see them start arguing with each other as well. There's been quite a few conversations in the breaks of play about, you know, don't tell him this, I'll, t I'll tell him. You, you know, they don't seem to be completely happy with what's going on. Ball goes forward from the free kick. <sighs> Nearly goes over Max Meaton. And the ball is over, but it was well struck. I'm not sure it was worthy of a way. But keep your eyes open, Mash. If he plays it, keep your eyes open. Flood lights are doing their best to provide light. One minute to half time. Ball goes wide towards Owen Dean. But that's straight into the middle towards a Ballum head. Ball's now on the floor. And Mbele loses the duel. Karoma wins it. But Ballum have got the ball here. And there's a man over here on the left hand side. So they work the ball all the way back to the centre backs. Allow Farnham to regroup. It's a really nice ball over the top, but Tom Smith does really well to bring that down. Out wide to Lamin Cisse. Every time Farnham at the moment looking to come inside. I'm not sure he's given nothing there. 50-50. Near side floodlights have just gone off. They'll have to play down this right hand side then. Come on, quick up. Quick up, one minute. One minute. One minute. Meter. That wide to Ange Jadja. And Bele. Anderson back in the centre. Turns round. Stadia Anderson. Good. Keep it up on the field. Good. Who goes in? And certainly worry here in the gantry about the floodlight situation as it's just gone they've both of them have just gone off after being on i think it's a case to get through half time for the uh, stadium team Wait, come, come, come. 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 jaja into owen dean who finds his way through to the to the byline cuts it back no one's there Meaton does well. Mbele. Ball goes across him. Into Corzani. And he's blown up with absolutely no added time. Right, now we now he was also concerned about the floodlights. Now we have a floodlight issue. Mark Godfrey, thoughts on the first half? Oh, I mean it was a killer for the atmosphere, killer for the for the players. 
uh, to concede that early. But you've got to give them credit for the way they fought their way back into the game. Yeah, certainly been more more Farnham since the goal, which was which would be which would to be expected. Um, I look, I think second half you've got you're attacking the clock end. It should be loud, providing we get the floodlights going. Um, but yeah, second half attacking that clock end. Big 45 minutes. I think we're going to see some late drama. Have you seen much of Flatman on the ball? Been little little uh, fits and starts. Um, I feel like it happened at Virginia Water. Towards the end of the game, the ball start, sort of starts to just get magnetised to him. It's got a bit of a force field around him and it, he just starts to pick up those little pockets. Maybe that's where when the game gets stretched, starts to open up. You, you know, a good player stands still. He knows where the ball's going to be. But I've been, been impressed with Ballum. They've been brave. They've been very brave on the ball. Um, at the back. Almost especially. too brave. Um, but it's admirable and, and I think you know they've, they've actually kept looking like a threat. Which has meant Farnham haven't really overcommitted because they're, they're a bit. It does feel like Farnham aren't quite sure whether to stick or twist yeah. at times. Like they could, they could be bold, bolder, they could be a little braver, but don't want to leave themselves exposed to the break because they were obviously, uh, you know, they've, they've experienced what it's like to with the ball out wide comes in, uh, goal one nil one minute. You, you don't want that to happen again, and then you, well, if you're two 0 down, you, you know you're completely you're chasing the game and, you, and you're almost out of it. So you, it's probably understandable, but at the same time, we can see from here there's opportunities to, to get at this, this this defensive line where they're perhaps not communicating so much, where they're, they're falling out with each other a little bit, they're starting to ask questions of each other, trying to move, literally physically move players into other positions, which we've seen. Yeah, so think all is not necessarily well, but you don't want to leave yourself overexposed when you feel the weight of, that, of the quality ball in behind you is going to hurt you. Every time that sort of, um, every minute that goes past as well, as Ballum get closer to that cup, those minutes take longer and longer. Um, but also in possession, but you know, possession. I, I think people now think of as a really attack and expressive way of playing football. But possession inherently is is a way to stop the other team scoring. Um, you know, some some see possession as quite negative and defensive in a way. Mm. Um, so yeah, interesting second half. It's set up perfectly. You know. You got Farnham attacking, attacking their fans. You got a packed crowd, capacity crowd, um, and and it's a good contest. And you know, strange things happen at the Memorial Ground, <laughs> like like the lighting situation. Yeah, <laughs> we're we're seeing flickers here of of, of potential for light, uh, oh, but then they seem to go away just as quickly as they come. Yeah, what are we gonna do? Um, bad news about the floodlights, they've tripped and we're trying to, currently trying to fix them. Um, so give us five minutes and we'll come back on air if that's possible, Mr. Producer. Yeah.
Welcome back to the Memorial Ground, where we have light. Will it stay on? Who knows? But we have light for the meantime, and I can see the pitch is lighting up. Mark Godfrey, we're back in business. The light has never been so happy to see a light come on. It's like <laughs> Christmas. Electricity! It's like being a caveman! I, uh, I didn't panic. No, there was no part of me that panicked. <laughs> <laughs> I think the word terminal was used four <laughs> or eight times. It wasn't, wasn't you know, the happiest man in, in the gantry, but we're back and we're okay. We're okay. First time that's happened in my, in my tenure. I think I'm going to get run out of town. <laughs> also, when it came out of my lips. <laughs> we, we were trying to make a quick getaway out of Frank's car, which has already been hit by a ball behind us. We thought, oh, if we can climb down from the back of this gantry, we'll be okay. But we're back and there's light and I can see the pitch. The referee is going to be absolutely fine with this and the players are going to come out any minute now. They did get sent back in at one stage, which is never a good look, but we look okay. Thank God. We've over a thousand people here. They've been chanting all day. Drums have been going. Um, if you can't hear them, it's because we're quite a long way away from the, uh, the home fans. Uh, on the far side, which make lots of the noise. Potentially, uh, actually, quite a good thing for the fans grabbing a beer at halftime. Yeah. <laughs> Often long queues, so they can go to the hey, line. If I'd have known we'd have a 20 minute half time, I would have had a week. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You better hope you don't go to extra time. Right, outcome Farm Town and Ballum for the second half under the now resurrected lights. Ballam lead 1-0 after a goal after 90 seconds. Shocked the Farnham crowd. But Farnham have been playing pretty well, Frankie Hobbs, since then. Yeah, look, they've, they've as you'd expect, they've bossed the game uh, since the goal. Um, but I think Ballam have still looked composed. Um, Farnham probably edged the chances, but Ballam still look a threat on the break. I don't think Ballam had a, a shot on target after the goal. And the goal was sloppy, Mark. It was sloppy. It was created, created by, by Farnham Town. Bit of panic in the box. Um, the ever, the, you know. Just static. No, yeah. no one closed down the cross. And then it seemed like we were, I think Ange was pulled across in, in, in the box. So he was completely out of, out of position to really deal with it. Two men just stood there ready to pounce on it. Well, they, they actually make a bit of a fist of it. Almost it felt like it went across in slow motion. Two of them could have scored, really. Yeah. And now we're talking about Farnham Town shooting towards the clock end, which we did mention before the game. It's where Lewis Flatman scored two goals against Virginia Water here in the semi-final. And there is an advantage, we feel, as a club, shooting towards the clock end in the second half, Frankie Hobbs. Yeah, look, it's where the fans are and, and, and you know, it's obviously a completely different level of football, but you have, the cop, you have the cop at Liverpool, you've got the yellow wall at Dortmund. You know, I know Spurs have erected a new cop at, behind one of their goals, not sure that's helped, but... <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. said by a true Arsenal fan. <laughs> Farnham have got, got their own version and you know it came up trumps in that Virginia Water game and, and it could do the same today. Yeah, we saw the incredible kind of fo forward roll, kind of semi-somersault kind of... Don't I'm not giving, I'm not giving him somersault. I don't it was think more kind him. of a, a balletic falling, I think it was, but uh, great, incredible scenes there and behind the goal and that, especially the second one where we knew, well, the second one in a, in a minute, yeah. where we knew we'd done it. The clincher. The clincher. Now we've just got to make it count in this second half. Big 45 minutes here for Farnham Town. Under the lights, here at the Memorial Ground, against Ballam, who are 1-0 up. They need to make it count in the next 45 minutes. Potentially the last 45 minutes of the season. Leave it all out there. Referee's waiting for the TV cameras. Right, and off he goes. Checks for the goalkeepers. Fourth official, which we have the beauty of tonight. And... We're away. Richie and Ballet with the kickoff. Um, and that's instantly lost. And Ballet on the charge and straight over the bar. But that was sloppy from Lewis Flatman. Yeah, not to, to sort of take it all away from him. The ball did bobble there, but you've just got to get rid of that, haven't you? That's, that's, what, that's what happens when we have a 20-minute half-time. Farnham shell-shocked in the first half and, and seemed to be the same in the second. Got away with that one. Did. Did. It felt like he could have released the ball earlier there, the Ballon well, uh, forward. I actually, I, again, I'll, I'll probably stick up from here. The nine had made a run that, that was a tad too early. He looked offside. He looked a tad early. If he, if he spotted that, it's a really intelligent play. Ball forward from Pat Nash, up in the air from the Ballon midfielder. Falls to Lamar Caroma. That's more up than forward towards Shamal Edwards, who wins a foul in a tidy area here for Farnham Town. I saw nudges like that in the first half that the ref didn't give, and now he's gone and given that. He's they're getting softer at the moment. He had 20 minutes of silence, wanted to hear the whistle, I think. 
great opportunity though. You can get those fans on board early. Who's over the free kick? Tom Smith and... Looks like... Mbele? No, uh, it's Brad, I think. Brad? Yeah, Brad. Tom Smith. I think Brad actually put the ball in in this exact position for Lewis Flatman's second of the night against Virginia Water in the semi-final. And it's Brad again. It's a really nice ball in. And it's just wide, but it felt like a really good chance there, Mark. It's hit, it's, it's hit Flatman square in the face, to be honest. He's made a great run. I don't know if he was offside. I was watching him. Um, he just seemed to get it all wrong. He should be going with his foot, really. It's too low for the header. And he's just, yeah, he's caught one right in the chops. Is it a bl blood bin here? Nathan, the physio for Farmtown, is on the pitch. Was, yeah. And it looks like he is bleeding, is he? I think it's his nose. We just caught him square in the face. Flatman comes off, who is good in the air, and Ballam have a goal kick. He'd lost the man from the run straight away, and if he wasn't offside, that's really poor defending from Ballam. Flatman indicating that he got elbowed to the face in that exchange going forward. Farm need to win that ball, and they do. Lamar Karoma out wide into this sticky area of the pitch. It's a nice touch from Lemmine Cisse, and he wins the throw in. Leaves the ball for Tom Smith. Farnham going to want to get Flatman Farnham on will want to get spot. Flatman on here. And Bele out wide to Brody Kozani. Slide tackle goes in and he's done really well. And he's bodied him and then he's slipped. <laughs> Shamal Edwards. I'm not sure where the ball is. I think the goalkeeper's got it. He has. Heavy touch. Just a slightly heavy touch. A lovely cushion. It just got away from him. Farnham Bar, the mistake off the kickoff, again starting sharp. And when the town goes marching in, rings around as Ballon put the ball forward. Tom Smith for the header. There's a bit more space in the midfield now. Richie Mbele finds Shamal Edwards. Lewis Flatman putting on number 15. It looks a bit tight on him. He looks incredibly tight on him. Referee is shouting out to get Lewis Flatman back on. Lewis Flatman ushered back onto the pitch. Farnham back to 11 men in his very tight number 15 shirt. And he instantly picks up the ball here in the sand pit of doom. He goes. Tries to go long to Owen Dean, doesn't quite come off, but Farnham do win a throw-in. It feels like there's some impetus here. Yeah, but I don't know how much value there is in, a, in, the, in that kind of ball when there's the, the, the full-backs waiting for it. Almost better off dropping it into the box and seeing what happens. They have a tussle on the far side and Farnham come out the better. And they've done a, he's done another one. Cuts inside and he scuffed the shot, but it was really nice. It was really nice. Farnham have glided past players all night. They just can't, can't quite just a, find the finish. A couple of step overs there created so much space for himself. When they've shown that aggression going forward and looking to beat a man, they've done it. Um, they've got to now follow that up with quality. I wouldn't want to be the goalkeeper down that end this evening. Ball goes forward. Tom Swift for the header into Richie Mbele, but it's crowded out here. And Ballon come away with the ball. 360 people watching online on YouTube. There's over a thousand people in the memorial ground for this cup final. Ballum lead 1 0. Ball cuts inside, not the touch he wanted. So I'm really well to keep the ball. That's really nice. And he's in. It's in for Ballum and it's 2 0. And they've gone absolutely wild. It was a fantastically, fantastically worked goal. It really, really was. It really was. Well worked on the left-hand side. Passed a few defenders across on the floor in the box. And Tom Smith probably caught a bit cold here at left-back. 
player comes in, taps it in. Yeah, look, Ballam first to react. Uh, ball came in and it, and it looked like they wanted it more there. Uh, I know that sounds like a bit of a cliche, but sometimes that's the case. And, you know, it was on, on Farnham to come back into this game and, and Ballam have, have taken that impetus and, you know, it's really the, had... I've got one hand on the cup. It's the composure there. They've had those two moments and they've had players in the right position to finish it off. Um, that was that was an excellent passing move. Yes, Brilliant. yes, you know, perhaps a little static, but they took full advantage. When you see just two minutes ago, excellent chance running into the box, no execution, poor finish. Um, that, that's where the two two sides differ. Uh, and it was Alex Fides with the finish number seven for Ballam, and again a lead of two nil suits the Ballam way of play. The keep suit the ball. anyone in a cup final. Keep the ball and move. Farnham need a goal and they need it quickly. There's a flare that's gone out um, in the goal, goal clock end. Flatman. Farnham needs something from their star men up front. Lewis Flatman. Oh, it couldn't quite force an opening there. Felt like a bit of a smash and grab goal, but it was really well worked. It's the two best, two best moves of the, of the night. They've, they've scored with both of them. It's just that bit of composure in the final third Farnham haven't had. It's a nice flick on. And well dealt with by Tom Smith. Still a lot of space and still a lot of time if Farnham can find a goal in the next 10 or so minutes. So you've, got, you've got to be careful of those players on yellow cards looking to really try and get you back in the game. Maybe leave a foot in. Ten men would be a disaster. Tom Swift puts the ball into a great area. Lamin Cisse tries to win the ball back. And Ballum send the ball out for a Farnham throw in. Very limited movement from Farnham here for the throw in. Smith goes long. And that's headed on by Flatman. And throw-ins one further up the field. Credit to the Farnham fans behind the goal. They're still making a decent amount oh, of noise. Legends to a, to a man or woman. Certainly behind the team. Go They've seen Farnham come back from these sort of deficits. Well, you know, this, team have, this team never say die. You know, one goal and Ballam do start to twitch. Flatman with a long throw. Dealt with by Ballum just before the corner was probably given for another long throw. Just watch. Just watch, Rini. Just watch. Quickly. Flatman. Long throw. It's dropped. And it hasn't dropped to a Farnham Town body. That's a heavy touch. And Ballum have a real chance to break away here. 3-0 and you feel like it's over. Seven is running through to try and join the attack. He's turned. Shot. Comes out. Huge chance to shoot. And that is. The not thing, the good thing for Farnham, which will concern their fans, as you look on the bench, there's no real recognised attacker. Yeah, players on the bench there to steady games, see games out. Hey. Oh. Now the ball goes forward. Sloppy again from Farnham on the ball. They consider going to three at the back. We haven't seen it for a long time, um, but it's something that would definitely you can you know, see. be in Johnson's mind. Looks like there's a bit of a change here anyway. Shamal Edwards has come out to the left, Owen Dean's gone down the middle, and Cissé switched to the right over there. Again, Farnham Town just not the first to the ball again. Got away with it, but again, they're playing towards the Ballon players. That's a nice touch, though. There's three of them, and the ref's given absolutely nothing there. Oh, that's cool. And the ball goes wide into Shamal Edwards. Well dealt with by Ed McCray. So yeah, what? Why do you think they put Shams on the wing here then? I think it's just try and shake something up, try and run at a different player. With Virginia Woolf's the semi-final, exactly the same thing, switching it around, asking a few more questions maybe. Final court, not going to do it with passes like that. 
This is a chance. This is a real chance. Oh, I tell you what, it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant tackle. He had to make that, otherwise it was game, set and match. Over hit again. And this is a very, very stretched game now. It feels a bit like a basketball game now. It's End become a bit end. desperate, but there is enough time for it not to be like that. Ed, still, on, can still be patient, still play through the lines. It's those pressure, pressure, pressure. touches that haven't quite gone for Farnham, but that's a better one. Tom Smith into the Caroma Again, Farnham just not quite first to it, but he's done well there, Lamin Cissé. Probably try to beat him too easily. There's a huge amount of space on that right hand side. Farnham trying to come inside every single time. Tom Swift deals with that well. Farnham, Farnham not talking. Edwards. And that's lost again in that wide area. That's nicely dealt with though. He's won it back really well. Never a foul. Tom Swift Cut goes long. That's where Shamal Edwards would be. But that's trying too much there, probably Lewis Flatman. Yeah, an argument below us from the Ballon manager and the number seven. I think they're having the best night of their lives. That was bizarre because I, I think I speak English quite well, but I pretty only understood maybe every other, one other word in that conversation. Again, the ball is just not falling for Farnham, and it's another really good counter attacking chance for Ballon who look like they could score at any moment as they counter-attack against Farnham Town. 3-0 and you really would feel like it's over. It's a great move. Oh, he's, he's cut inside. Boy, bodies are flying everywhere. I mean, I'm not sure how there hasn't been a penalty or a goal scored there. Farnham Town needs to move faster. And that's a really nice pass inside. Lamar. Out to Samal Edwards. And that's a very, very nice tackle. Edwards. Smith into the sand pit. Out to Max Meaton. Back into the middle to Lamar Karoma. And Jaja. And Bele. Max Meaton. Good header. Back in field by Shamar Edwards. And that's a foul. Very soft again. Foul to Ballon. And they will take their time here. Referee this time calls over two final players, Lewis Flatman and Captain Lamar Karoma. Imagine again for a bit of back chat. It's a cup final referee. Process, red tape, rigor. <laughs> the thing is, you say that, but there probably are a lot of eyes on this. There's, a pro there's an observer probably from the FA. Yeah, definitely. 432 online, watching Farnham Town currently losing 2-0 to Ballum at home in front of 1,000 people. It's not ideal viewing from here in the gantry as a Farnham Town supporter. But you have to give credit where credit's due. Ballum have scored two very good goals. Certainly deserve the, the game so far. Ooh, there's one and of those. Look, and look, the more likely. Corner ball, that'll, Ballum. That'll be the disappointing thing, really. Yeah, you saw the reaction to the first goal was get your heads up, uh, get on the ball, start, start playing your game. But from the second goal, it feels like we've lost our heads a little bit, we've lost our way, we're trying to rush things getting a bit frustrated, I think our heads have dropped a little, but still 30 minutes to go, plenty of opportunity. I've not seen this for a long time. For official asks for the rest. It's just uh, 
Flatman's obviously in 15, and oh. I think you're just letting him know that that's number 10. Everyone's crowding around Pat Nash in the Farnham Town goal. In swinging corner, going to come in here from Ballum on the near side. Ball goes in. Pat Nash calls and receives the ball into his hands safely. Ball goes forward. Shamal Edwards will jump and loses the ball to Ballum. Out wide to Fidesz, number seven, the goal scorer. He goes really nicely into number two. Ballum right back. They're using the ball really well there, Ballum. That's, that throw is absolutely brilliant from Pat Nash. Forward. Bradley Kozani. Needs to use the ball probably a faster, but he's done well. Lamin Cisse. Ball comes across. It's wasted. It's wasted. It was never anywhere near it. It was a big ooh from behind the goal, but from our angle, it never looked even slightly close. That's a real disappointment when you get into the, getting into those positions. No real pressure on the cross. You can, you can really pick your ball, pick your spot. Someone needs to step up here. It's a cup final. It's your last game of the season. You know, the way modern football is, there's going to be a lot of changeover in personnel. This could be your last game for the club. It's time to step up. So who's going to be counted here? No final town players getting stripped and ready yet. As Frankie said earlier, no recognised attackers. Offside given against Ballon. Chance for Farnham to forge attacks from deep. Tom Smith, Max B. He's trying to force it, trying to force it, Farnham Town. That's better. Ball taken inside, Bradley Kazani. Out wide to Tom Smith on this near side now. Shamal Edwards absolutely skins the, the right back. Has a chance, that's a hugely overhit touch on his second, but he does win the throw in. Just a little show of his pace there. Touch is better and he's bearing down on goal. Farnham need to play down this left hand side a little bit more if they can. It's just quite cute in the middle of the pitch there, isn't it? Lamar Caroma. Richie and Bele. It's a nice idea, but it's probably a bit too straight. Not 100% sure what the referee's talking to those Ballon players about either. He seems to be desperate for a conversation with anybody he can get hold of. I think they were angry. I think they thought the Flatman had left a, left a foot in there on the keeper, but something and nothing. That was a frustrating ball in, because if there were players at the back stick, no, not really anyone making a... Much of a Free header opportunity for Ballum. Yeah. It's gone all the way through. Tom Smith guys it to yeah. Pat Nash, who gives it to Ange Jaja. Not a lot of movement ahead of him, but he does well to find Owen Dean, who now finds, well, tries to find a pass into Lamin Cisse. Doesn't quite come off. Ball back into Ange Jaja. Now Max Meaton. Farnham Town need to create some chances. They've had a lot of the ball. They haven't created much in the way of clear-cut opportunities. Ball into space, into Ange Jaja. Drives forward. Probably one of the best opportunities of the match is when he did drive forward. It's still with Ange. That was a shot. And it's in! It's in! It's Owen Dean. And Farnham Town have a chance to get back into this game. It's 2-1. It was a snapshot. And Farnham are back in it, Frankie Hobbs, on the 65th minute. Funny things can happen here at the Memorial Ground, and we could be about to see another one. It's a brilliantly taken finish, and Jar Jar at the back really has started all of that. He did, he did, and he, he got tackled, he kept the run going, he picked the ball back up again, laid it off, and it was a fine finish. He looked in the minute he hit it. That's the quality you get from Owen Dean, and, and can Farnham now spring on? It's going to be a big 10 minutes for Ballum here. Ballum need to keep the ball like they have done over the course of the game, if they want to stay in this game. Farnham are going to come at them hot. Still no substitutes by either team. It is electric at the Memorial Ground. You know that, that's just, Two that. flares have gone off behind the goal. <laughs> There's no Poznan yet, though. Maybe a 2-2.
I'll tell you what though, the relief of that, just having that moment. Uh, with time on the clock, the game, Mark. With time on the plenty of time. And maybe now a bit more patience again, get a bit more control back. I was about to say, we've not seen this half any defensive errors. Um, but, uh, but from Ballam, but uh, and I don't suppose it really was there either. But the ball just broke free and, and, and a snapshot. I think you've got Ballam trying to take the sting out of the game here. Player going down. You see that a lot in modern football. Um, and it is the goalkeeper who's gone down. Um, We've got a backup keeper on the bench. It didn't. It's I mean, no the, bad thing. Given given Farnham an opportunity to regroup. It was a really nice goal. It was well, like, like we said earlier. And did a really nice driving run in the first half. Came to nothing. Came to nothing. That time, drove through the midfield, kind of bundled his way. Then it kind of fell to Owen Dean. Snapshot, nicely along the ground on this zippy surface and straight underneath the goalkeeper and in it went. Yeah, I think it's an interesting one here. You know, there would have been a lot of emotion from Farnham. They could have maybe overcommitted after the back of a goal. This can kind of go both ways here, having this little stoppage. And you know what? Lewis Flatman's not had his chance yet. And you know at some point he will get a chance. Going to come. I just hope that we really see the benefit of the fourth official and all this time gets added on. You'd hope so. He's got a, he's got a he very added long zero coat. minutes and zero seconds on in the first half. Well, the, the fourth official did indicate one minute of added time. Didn't seem to get played. But. Is that number 10 coming off? First substitution for... Ballum, number 16, coming on for... Number 10. Yeah, look, that, that noise behind the crowd, behind the goal, sorry, that's what it's all about. We talked about it earlier. Can they suck the ball in? They've done it once. You, would, you wouldn't bet against them doing it again. Yeah, and especially as hosting the, host the final here, you want to feel like you've got a, a moment to celebrate. I, I know, I don't want to sound... To, you know, lacking in ambition but no one wants to go into a final and not have something to cheer and celebrate particularly when you're hosting it at your own ground absolutely and, and you've seen there a missed throw from Balham so are they feeling it maybe it's fallen to Cissé Cissé loops oh just wide Could and it's corner ball Farnham there is momentum shifting here at the memorial ground there's 453 of you watching online please do subscribe there is 22 minutes left in the game plus any stoppage time uh, of which there will be some ball's going to come here in from the corner on the near side it comes in in towards the near post there's going to be another opportunity for him to get this ball in Lewis Flatman he's faked it a couple of times and that's not a ball that Farnham Town would have wanted and there's another chance for Ballum 7 to get the ball forward it's a really nice touch and they're going to just run this very odd decision. Odd decision with it, with it being 2-1. No fouls here for Farnham, but there is men over in the midfield for Ballum. Can they get it wide to the, the new man, number 16? They can. Nicely done inside. And Pat Nash will see that one out. Very odd decision not to go for that counter-attack. It know. was a real chance to get forward. To just take the ball on a little further, you know, make another defender commit themselves. Once that threat goes, then it... Flatman wins the ball. But it comes out to a Ballum player. But Richie and Bele comes out with the ball in midfield. That's where he'll want it. Lamar, out wide to Bradley Corzani at the right back position. Karoma. And Bele, that's poor, that's poor when we need it. Nothing given, and that's a touch. Touch past him, and, and, and Shaman Edwards is in here. He's in past the right back, into the box. Owen oh, Dean. Can he shoot? He's gone down! He's gone, he's not giving it! He's not giving it! He's not giving it! I can't believe it! Why would he... Why would he go down? Why would he go down? Very bizarre decision. Well, and if it, and if it is a dive, another dive, then it's a, a second yellow and a red card. It's a bizarre decision. But Farnham Town are all over Ballum here. 
Karoma. You just don't want to see the game ruined by refereeing decisions. Mbele. Chance. Edwards. Oh, that's probably a poor, poor decision from Edwards, but he did well to find the space. Fla Frankie Hobbs, Farnham Town, have impetus, but do you think that was a foul and a penalty? I think it's hard to see how there's not. Um, you can normally tell by the reaction on the pitch, and, and I think everyone was waiting for the whistle to blow, and it's not. Well, look at it. The first, the first one in the first half was, was touch and go. It looked like it probably was contact there, but not, not too sure. But you can see from the actual players, even the Ballon players all turned to look at the referee. It almost looked like two players converged on him and took him out. Neither of them got the ball. I'm not sure why uh, Owen Dean would go down there. He just scored one from a similar angle. He's about to pull the trigger. <laughs> Ball forward from the goal kick from Ballon. Back to Pat Nash and the final goal. Ball forward by Nash. And Ballon come away with the ball. It's a nice pass, but again, Nash playing that sort of sweeper, keeper role will mop them up all day. Shamal Edwards is going to win that ball. But the Ballon right back has done an exceptional job in stopping him skip pass. That was a poor throw in. But Flatman. Petulant. And that's brilliant. Space on the far side. Brad Corzani. Flatman done really well. Ball goes in. It's John yeah. It's in! It's in! Yeah. Owen Dean with his second of the game. Two shots, two goals. I think Ballon will be regretting it's the time. It's 2 2! Farnham Town have 17 minutes to complete the comeback. Ballon heads are gone. Farnham Town need to make the most of it. Ball goes forward. They still don't look brilliant at the back Farnham Town when the ball does go forward, but that's really well dealt with by Tom Smith. Lewis Flatman with a header, and that's going to roll out to Lamin Cisse. Um, that's going to be a Farnham throw in. Still no subs being readied by Farnham Town. This was a theme we saw at Virginia Water, Mark Godfrey. There wasn't a sub until extra time. Yeah, we wondered then if fitness would, would, would come into play, but fit, fit bunch of lads this lot. Never give up. And, and that never give up attitude's come, come in Jersey, Ballum. It's come in at lots of different games at the back end of the season. Quite a similar game, actually. And Nap Hill, I think they were 2-0 down and they came back to, to, to draw two all. Um, but it's a similar game to, to that on non-league day, really. Yeah, don't disagree. All right, and foul. I, I actually think Paul Johnson deserves a lot of credit. The pull-out of Shams here to the left wing has really opened up the game. Dino down the middle. Farnham Town, free kick. Chance to put the ball in the box. Ball goes in. It's a good ball in, but it's well dealt with by Ballum. Ball is cleared into this channel. Tom Smith in deep position. Ballum just defending now. Max Smith, it's a brilliant touch by Lewis Flatman. And now it's a back heel into Shamal Edwards. Cut back. Oh, and it's. I think Farnham have realised this right back's not perhaps the best defender. Probably why they were celebrating the, the, the sort of tackles so much here on the bench. Corzani. Back to Lamar, who's dropped a bit deep here to pick up the ball. This is a non-league cup final at its very, very best. Max Meaton goes forward. Shamal Edwards jumps high. Ballon, he's, he's just gone down clutching his face again. That seems to be a tactic. They want to slow the game down here. It is all Farnham Town. How it changed. Just, it just needed that goal, right? It needed one goal to just change everything. Uh, the thing is, it's interesting to see this sort of slowing the game down again because 
Farnham have actually carved Farnham open whenever they've gone forward. I, I don't know if I'd have switched the game plan. Or is it just a natural... I think he might actually just be injured. But... <laughs> Uh, a break and play for an injury always calls for a call to subscribe to the YouTube channel Frankie Holmes and Mark Goffey you know the drill there is non-league diaries every single Friday except from this week because it went out today to promote the game uh, and because we had a bit of minor YouTube technical difficulties um, but non-league diaries every Friday T uh, tomorrow next Friday's will be the last of the season hopefully it comes celebrating a Farnham Town Cup victory it's 2-2 here I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling excited but anxious. Yeah, I think, look, and 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 ultimately, the best games are ones where there's something in it for both teams, and there's definitely something still here for both teams. But are we going to get chances? Yeah, I'm just thrilled, thrilled that we're in this position. You know, 20 minutes ago, you'd have, you've given a right arm to be in this position with, with just 15 minutes left, and yes, it looks like Farnham are the ones on top. Obviously, they've scored two goals most recently. It perhaps starts to feel like. Balham's, Balham's goals were a long, long time ago now. But as you said, Balham still looked dangerous on the break. There's still a great, a great side as the pl you know, play opens up. The, the game gets stretched. Anything can happen. But I just fancy it. I fancy us. That is an attendance just been announced at the Memorial Ground of 1,143. That is a season record, beating the 1,070 that attended here against Badshot Lee at home on what was a mammoth occasion um, Farnham got the win that town. day can they do the, game, the same here Farnham just do look a bit shell shocked Farnham's down with the throat it's funny this cup final's had everything really floodlights going down couple of goals a bit of a dodgy pitch it's non-league so we haven't even worried about the balls true oh there's a chance here for Ballum. On the edge of the box, can he get shot away? He can't. Final time needs to get back in it. I think that sort of defence, you know, the really shutting down those balls is something they weren't really doing in the first half. Maybe those couple of goals can really help you on the other end as well. Yui! Some Yui! Ballon fans in as well. They're All anti Farnham fans, you just never know these days. Throwing goes in into the ballon, into the ballon number seven, and there's a chance here. Oh, and it's flashed straight across Completely the goal. Completely ball watching from the throw in. There was no organisation, no communication whatsoever there for Farnham. I'm not Statues. sure. I'm not sure if it's a throw in or if it's a corner. I'm not sure even what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure what's going Nash, on at all. Nash, Nash seemed to get a touch on that. I think it's a throw in. The town go marching in again rings out from the clock end. They, they've, they've sucked two goals in from Owen Dean in this second half to make it 2-2. A game that probably should never have gone ahead if you'd have seen the state of the pitch last night. Into Owen Dean's feet. The goal scorer and on a hat-trick. Can he find it wide? He He's can. Really That's well. really, really good. Lamin Cisse. Or is it, or is it Brady Kazani? Right. Lamar, Richie and Ballet in the middle. Coach is desperate for, for Shams to get on the ball here. Oh, and on another one of his runs. And Bele. Flatman. Oh, and it's bubbling. Oh, how's that not gone in? I can't believe it's gone backwards. And it's a ballon throw. How has that gone backwards? I don't, it's a good trick if he can do it. The ball just seemed to take a year once it went past the goalkeeper. I think it was, it was Flatman's shot and it seems to just get a little nick off the defender. He sort of half blocked that shot, obviously going wide and then, well, yeah, it looked like a tap in for a moment there, but I guess the angle was just too tight. Ball goes down the line. And out for Farnham throw across the pitch to Ange Jadjo he's had a very good game made a very, very important tackle and created one of the goals ball goes forward towards Lewis Flatman who gets a great header on it just doesn't go over the ball and player 
But now again, Ballon will break, and they're happy to do that all day. That man has <laughs> made a run that's about four yards offside at the very least. But he's back on side here. Tom Smith needs to watch his back. Chance here for Ballon. Number 16, he's dribbled it straight towards Pat Nash. The ball, <laughs> they are absolutely willing the ball to go to Shamal Edwards. Owen Dean tries to help it towards Lamentis. That's brilliant from Richie Mbele. Ball again to Bradley Kozani in the far, far side. Ball goes across goal. He's going to drop to Lewis Flatman. Oh! I think it's a tight one. It just hit, it just hit him. I don't think he even knew where the ball was. And Farnham will go again. Lewis Flatman with a chance there. Substitution for Ballon. Number is he? Number 15. 15. Ballon just doing anything they can to stop the flow of the game. They also want to change it, which I accept, but. And breathe, I think. They need to breathe. Eight minutes left. Of that strike time. from Flatley looked like it was going. It, that looked it like would it have was broken flying. the net and the roof of this non existent roof <laughs> stadium. <laughs> 15 coming on, not sure who's coming off because I think they've gone on the other side. They have, I can't see. Number nine, Tom Reed. Interesting sub. You'd have thought with the composure he had in front of goal, big moment, you'd have kept him on, but interesting. Player who started the season actually at step three with Met Please, so. True. Um, yeah. Would have been someone that you thought would make, play the 90. He was a Ballon Boy last season, wasn't he? Did very well. Scored over 30 goals for, for Ballon last season. Koroma, Farnham Town with all of the impetus here. Tom Smith. Yeah, no turn, no turn. If you're watching, do comment below what you think the final score is going to be as Farnham Town wait their way into the box. Shamal Edwards tries to force it through. Now Richie Mbele, who's really grown into the game in the central midfield, finds Lamar Koroma. Play on, says the referee. Bradley Kozani, can he shoot? Where's the ball? What's he given? What's he given? Free kick for for a little Bradley. bit of contact there. Um, oh. Soft. Bradley Kozani looks dangerous when he goes past that right back and cuts inside. Just he needs to let one rip. I don't, I don't. Look, I, I, I mean, I appreciate we're coming from a very biased perspective, but obviously the fans are really on top of the game. It feels like he's almost overcompensating for that with the decisions, the <laughs> yeah. sort of silence. Yeah, thing. well, he, he didn't. Him and between him and the linesman over that far side, they managed to miss the hand, clear handball. Um, there was no advantage. We, we obviously took, got the ball, but they, both officials missed it, and yet he's able to spot the, the merest of nudges in the penalty area. He has been rather frustrating. 85 minutes played here at the Memorial Ground. 1,143 people inside the ground. 601 people watching online. Nearly 2,000 people care about this cup final and it has been an interesting one. It so really, really has. People saying 3-2 Farnham in the chat. They would, it's Farnham Town's YouTube channel. Berry fans in the chat. We've got all sorts going on. Get it back, sir. Get it back, sir. Okay, and Shadja, Max Meaton, will he load the barrel as he looks to shell it forward? Tom Smith goes forward into Lewis Flatman. That's a nice try towards Shamal Edwards, but doesn't quite come off. I saw the blueprint there, into flat A, third man run from Shamal Edwards. Keep doing that. And Ballum, yeah, they again. Don't that. They don't want to deal with those balls at the edge of their box. Rolling it out. Tom Smith misjudges. And there's a real chance here for Ballum, but again, oh, Pat just, just gets hold of it. He looked like he dropped it for a bit. You did actually lose it at, that, at one point there. Forced. Force pass again, probably a bit too much. And Farnham get away with it. Tom Smith back into and manager not happy with that pass at all. They want it to go forward. Shamal Edwards has got a huge amount of space here on the, the left near hand side. Game slowed down a bit. 
Ball forward by Meter towards Shamal Edwards on the touchline, who slips after he does a lovely touch on the on his thigh. A Ballam goal is going to come from a Farnham mistake or a counter-attack. It has been all Farnham for the last 20 minutes. I think they've lost a lot with the new striker up front, to be honest. Not quite looked quite sharp enough. Oh, he's been pushed. And there's a chance again. This is where Ballam are dangerous. And they've had, they've had danger all game as they've, they've attacked like that. But that is a fantastic pass forward. He's gone inside. Oh, indeed. And the goalkeeper's done That's really a wonderful piece of goalkeeping. The goalkeeper's done really, really, really well. Under a lot of pressure back there. Six hundred and fifty people on YouTube. Not enough of them are subscribed to the Farntown YouTube channel. Look, I will keep plugging it. There's a Champions League semi-final going on at the moment, but I know I'd rather be. In the country here, <laughs> middle of May, muddy pitch, Farnham Town versus Ballum in the Southern Combination Cup final. 2-2. Two -two. Who needs Milan when you have the memorial? <laughs> Very good. Two and a half minutes to go of normal time. And that's Farnham Town throw on the far side. Will there be another chance? Frankie Hobbs. Uh, look. There's enough time. You feel like there's going to be one chance for, for someone. Who that's for? Who knows? Couple of stoppages though, so you're looking at four, maybe five minutes of injury oh, time. I wouldn't be so sure. Certainly wasn't added on in the first half. Shamal Edwards, I'll tell you what, that's going to... Ooh, that, that was nearly very, very clever. They're playing in the sand pit there. No foul, and it isn't. It's Lamar Caroma breaking free. Plays the ball inside. Lamin Cisse. He's, he's not green. given that one either. He's not given that one either. I'm not really sure what more Farnham can do to get a, to get a penalty. That's a lovely touch, though, by the Ballum 16. Paul Johnson not happy below me. I he think thinks if it's, not, if it's not a penalty, it's a pass back. There's a player. I think he's got a player, case. Farnham Town player. There's not a lot of love below me for the referee. I'm glad these mics are directional for the Farnham Town management's sake. I think you've got... Are the, is each one a penalty? Definitely, maybe not. But there's a lot in there. You think maybe one would be? I think from our I angle, I wasn't, I wasn't too sure about that one, I have to say. I um, think it's the accumulation that's just going to frustrate just feel, the... Yeah, of course it does. But that's not how you win penalties. <laughs> but I have to say, the, the crowd behind the goal felt very, very vociferous about it, so they clearly saw more of a more contact. You've got to think he's in a great position. He's been slipped, he's been slipped through. Why does he go down? There's been a couple of those. That's... Oh, what's he indicating there? Five minutes added on. Five minutes of additional time. Shives, get out! Ballum potentially with a chance here. Oh, oh my word, Farnham got away with that. Bounced everywhere. Nearly fell for a Ballum forward. One more push. Jimmy Hibbert below me says, believe Farnham. There is one more chance coming. Players look tired, aren't they? They look tired. Pat Nash forward, that is to absolutely nobody. And neither is that header. 16 doesn't even fancy it, and he's just come on. Yeah, it's been, been a real disappointment up there, 16. I say that. And, you know, there's still time, Frank. Yeah. There's, there's still time. Max Beaton. So that he wins the header against Ballon Body. Owen Dean. Move it, move it. Richie and Bello, Owen Dean. Owen Dean, star so far 
tonight for Farnham. It's a really nice pass out Step over's incoming. Into Bradley Kozani. He's been very dangerous in this area. It's a corner ball and Farnham will like this one. they just got to make sure they've got men back here. I want to remind you, Farnham beat Ballam five weeks ago. 3-2 from a Tom Smith corner to Lewis Flatman at the back post in the 94th minute. We are nearly there. Lenny! Lenny! Get back there! Tom Smith. Oh, it's into the danger area. Oh, it nearly dropped Rowan Dean. It's got to go back in. Richie, get back! Calls for Richie and Bello to get back. Max Meaton covers. Tom Smith, can he get a ball in? He can, looks over here, but it's kept in. Ball hoisted away by Ballum defenders. And it's very well played. Very well played from Max Farnham want to get on with it. Farnham want to Farnham keep the Man ball City. in the realms of the pitch. My oh. word, I want to be watching that, but Richie Mbele is one of the players I'd willingly allow him to do it. It's Into expensive. Shamal. Edwards, I'm not sure and he's going to drive out of defence. It's yes! a really good tackle. Double cramp. It's really good tackle, but he's hurt himself. Yes! 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 And Ballum have kicked out. Kick ball, <laughs> he, I, I think he's hurt his nether regions. <laughs> Never. Will we hit the 700 barrier on this live stream? I need it to refresh. I'm running out of battery. Oh, 757. Not only will we hit it, we've absolutely smashed through it. Um, cramp being pushed out on the pitch. Tom Smith and Max Meaton, two veterans of Farnham Town, helping each other there. A few moments ago, when a header went over into no man's land, Ange took an absolute day to try and retrieve that ball, and he looks a bit hobbly now. He's made some absolute lung busting runs this, this evening. Um, well, well, some, of these players, some of these players are already out on their feet. Centre back is one of the stronger areas of our bench uh, today. I'd say. You know, despite a few slippy moments, the pitch has held out pretty well. Yeah, I mean, you know, there have been some slippages, and I think that's probably going to get worse with the you know, extended period. Well, yeah, because it's, it's a really clear night, so yeah. you are going to get a bit of dew. I can't believe we just say we're talking about dew, but uh, we probably will do, and they could see some slips. And we've said already errors lead to goals at this level, especially when tiredness creeps in, fatigue, lapses of concentration. Oh, I'm a nervous man. Yeah. Fans still coming into the Memorial Ground as the, someone asked behind us, is extra he just, time He now? knew, he knew he, there was going to be drama. only interested in if there's extra time. So much so, he stood behind me on a raised area so he can see the pitch. He's not going to, he's not going to go through the turnstile. He refuses to pay. You don't have to pay after 45 minutes, he's got it all wrong. But that's the least crowded area of the pitch. 1,143 people here inside the Memorial Ground. Over 750 people watching online. That's, that's a really, a bad really pass. wasteful pass. Farnham would probably take a free kick here or slow the game down at least in order to get back in. It's very much defence versus attack on both ends. And Ballon has slipped through here. And it's four on four. It's gone out wide. Final time with Phil needs to get back in. It's fallen and that's been a very, very wasteful shot. Go Shamal Edwards. Shamal Edwards. Throw to Fana. Straight away it's taken by Shamal Edwards, but Lewis Chapman loses the ball. Ball, look for the channel. <laughs> number seven for Ballon talks to number 16 and says, are you carrying a caravan? He walks and runs so slowly. Ball forward by Tom Smith into nowhere. But that's a head up to Lewis Flatman, who's gone for goal there. We've seen him score from similar distances. It's ambitious. 
Um, but number 15, Flatman, who changed his number from 10 after a blood injury. Looks to take the throw in, and that is full time. What a and game. We go to extra time, boys, like Mark, we did 10 days ago. Oh, it's incredible. And we said this, at, uh, it was 60 minutes on the clock, we said, just be patient. Something can happen. We know this. Like, it's never over in, at this level, at any level of football, but particularly at the end of a long, hard season, you've, you've got, you, you know, you're leaving everything out on the line. You only need a chance, a mistake, a penalty, something. Uh, in the end, could have had two penalties and won this game quite, quite comfortably. Um, but what, what resilience from the boys, like absolutely fantastic. The way they came back from going 1-0 down after a minute, uh, and then the second goal was a real sickener. But again, they just they, they did get going. It, it felt almost, you know, you were wondering whether, it would, whether that was going to be it and the game would just peter out. But no, nope, they, they just kept, kept plugging away and these, the opportunities opened themselves up. And to be honest, chance for chance, you'd probably say Farnham had the better, better number of chances in the end. And now it's just a question of, of fitness, really, and fatigue. And Farnham have proved that they can rally in extra time. Yeah, I've just seen Owen Dean's dad there, and I think he, he's, he's gestured that he fancies a hat-trick. It would be one <laughs> for the ages. Owen Dean's father watched his other son, Jack Dean, pick up a trophy last night yeah. for Bracknell in front of 1,100 people. Well, congratulations he's... to everyone at Bracknell Town. Yeah, I know won. they've had a fantastic season, gone far in a lot of cups, just missed out on... Promotion, um, great club on, on, on the up, so great. And if anyone from Bracknell's listening, you know, congratulations on a fantastic season. Hopefully, the Deans continue the family winning tradition today. Yeah, and he'll be delighted with his son's two goal haul, but I think the, the hat trick is something that everybody wants to take home, especially in a cup final. Maybe it will become the Owen Dean final <laughs> if he can make it happen. But long way to go before that happens. Half an hour of football to play. Is it 15 minutes each way? Yep. No goal, goal or nothing. Yep. Tom Smith being worked on for cramp down the near side. It's going to be a late one here. We're past the watershed now, though. Yeah. Is that one of those on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> you are live on Channel 4. Please do not swear. That's fascinating. The same guy that's just tried to get, to get in... Uh, only really concerned about whether there would be extra time <laughs> is now questioning the style of extra time and whether golden goal will be played which is a real throwback because I don't think they've done that for 21 years <laughs> I remember silver goal uh, oh god that was terrible wasn't you're, it you're, you, scored, yeah. you still had to go into the second half yeah. Yeah, so if you scored in the first half of extra time if you got to half time oh, it game over it, yeah. I think yeah. there was only ever one silver goal yes correct if you can name it in the comments I'd love to see there you go who scored the only silver goal a terrible concept, and glad it got, uh, got rid of. Yeah, I think Golden Goal's awful as well, very cagey. More fun though. Very cagey, but the thing is, you know. It makes bad football. Yeah. We're not watching that tonight. Definitely not. <laughs> Half an hour. We were here 10 days ago against Virginia Water in a cup semi final. And we're back. 2 2 this time rather than 1 1. Similar story though, Farnham Town were in the ascendancy going into extra time last time, they're in the ascendancy going into extra time this time. They've come back from two goals down, a, a, a goal that was caught cold in the first half, the first 90 seconds, and then probably in the first five, six minutes of the, of the second half, two goals, but then Owen Dean stepped up, two within three or four minutes, and Farnham Town are going into extra time, the better team. I think Ballam really lost their sort of threat in behind and they're running in behind they're, they're very tireless at running chasing every ball the number 16 has I mean his own teammate said it has looked plodding and I don't <laughs> he's really taken a bit of that threat away I mean he looks very strong and I think if the ball's in his feet he's probably going to cause a problem but you know when you, when you haven't got a lot of the ball and you're playing a long ball you need someone who can work the channels it doesn't it looks like they've lost something there definitely feels like they've lost their mojo maybe that's just to do with how how well far and push you back and when yep. you've got players like Shamsi and Cecil and so on run, running at you all the time it does fatigue and it does make you more concerned about what's going on behind you than what's going on in front and they definitely definitely lost their way on uh, with the ball to feet any silver goal oh Ballam opt to switch 
I think they probably watched the Virginia Water game. Or they're watching the commentary down on the... Uh... Well, the interesting thing is they've just conceded two goals at that end. So this game could be over by half-time of extra time. So they're taking a slight risk. Um, Mark Fidesz, who could be uh, related, I imagine, to the number seven um, Fidesz, who scored both Ballam goals, uh, notes that... Uh, Number seven, Fidesz, is a Spanish former Spanish second division player. Wow. So you can see that he's obviously got some quality. I think he's been by far the best player on the pitch with Ballon. Yep. I don't um, think there's much uh, much arguments there. He certainly looked the brightest. Technically looked very good. Looked let down by number 16 there at the end. Let's, uh, let's see how they bounce back. Farnham Town to kick off. The interesting thing for me here is, is the coaches were desperate for Shams to get on that ball they're looking to manufacture it if whether it goes into Flatman whether they can get him one on one they just want to get Shams unlocked Farm Town kick off this first half of extra time kicking towards the clock end 2-2 half an hour of football to play anything can happen Ballum looked good on the counter attack and they've kept the ball well but Farnham Town really have started to put some pressure on over the last 20 minutes but this is a chance for Ballum he's driving forward and almost don't want to pass to number 16. It's like being back in the playground. Really, really odd header there from Angie. Sort of headed goes straight. forward. He doesn't know what to do with that Ballon defender. That's straight to Owen Dean. Looks like more of the same so far. Richie and Bele. Tom Smith here on the near side. Farnham's left back. Tried to, try to force it a bit. Trying to force it a bit. Need to be doing the simple stuff now in extra time. Richie and Bele. Move it, move it, move it! Quick, quick! Max Meaton with a call from Paul Johnson to move it quick, and he does get it nicely out wide to Bradley Korzenik. Ball comes out to Lamar Karoma. To Richie and Bele. Karoma now. Has turned midfield, done very well in the second half. He's done really well there. Korzani, he's caused problems over there. Flatman. Oh, he tried to force an opening. Couldn't quite bend the shot. But it was a brilliant touch mark, Godfrey. That's a real shame because he's had a couple of uh, really well hit, hit strikes. That was not one of them. I think maybe the shot wasn't quite on by the time he'd, by the time he'd sort of turned. Over manufactured. Uh, it was over manufactured. <laughs> it didn't look like the, really the shot was on anymore. He's just decided to just shove him in the back for almost no reason whatsoever. And he seems to have won the free kick. <laughs> no, it's just a, I think it's just to throw him, but how the referee just allows that is, uh, is unbelievable to me. Bye. Throw him by Ballum. And Lamar can't quite get the ball out wide. And now it's with Ballum's number two. Forced back. And that's a well worked pass. And that, there's a chance here, there's a chance here. There's a chance here for Alan. Max Meaton has done brilliantly there. And Farnham Town were caught cold again a bit there. And that's where the chances have come for Ballon. Mistakes. I think Brad's got released that. Corzelli. Yeah, nice. And Bele. Flat. Coroma. And Bele. Tries to force it a bit, but it's nice. Into Flatman's feet. Goes wide. No foul there. Find him if they can. Time for Max Meaton. Ball goes long. I tell you what, that's a really good ball in. Oh, indeed, fancied it. Goalkeeper was beaten to it. Oh, indeed, won it back. And Farnham can't quite find the goal, but 
It's another to good chance. To be fair to the referee, yeah. let that he, one go. Yeah. It was the right. That was completely the right thing to do. But all both challenges on the keeper were perfectly valid. Um, so really often, good commitment though from both, all the final players there involved in that move. There was just they didn't really want to give that up. It's just where though that crowd can make that one or two percent difference. It's, it seems to scare the Ballon defenders. All long from Ballon in 16, who does well. That's where he is going to be valuable. Out wide. There's a few players coming. Farnham have still got four up front. There's a real chance of Ballon to find the spare man here, and they have found him. Oh, but that's really well dealt with. Shamal Edwards. I've never seen anyone try to catch. He's made a mockery of number 15. Really has. Mbele. Owen Dean. Oh, and it's into Lamar Caroma. Back out. He's got to play Dean, Owen. I Owen mean, I mean, Dean on the outside. Is he going to keep it in? No. Farnham Town needs to be getting some shots off here. They're getting into some good positions. You, you know, you've got, you've got this first half attacking the clock end. You won't, I don't say you need to score, but it's probably your best chance. It does feel like that. And yeah, it just didn't, decision making there, maybe just didn't go quite right. I think Owen Dean went in earlier to him on the overlap and then he ended up inside and then he tried to play the overlap. By that point, the, the move had broken down, the ball was over hit. Um, by, by that point, you're probably better off just having a pop, get something in the box. Something's going to happen if you just keep pumping the ball in. Instruction below me is for them to not let Ballam out. They really it's don't know what to do. That's a yellow card. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's been coming. First yellow card for time wasting. At 2-2. Two, two. Never you know, seen anyone get sent off for time wasting. Cut, what's he doing? <laughs> and the ball eventually goes long anyway. Very odd. On the bottom goalkeeper. I'll admit that one was a ballon ball. First decision I felt has uh, has gone into throwing, not two penalties. Correct. Ball forward. It's a slide tackle. Ballon are happy to commit to the floor early. Oh. And that's a corner ball. Time to load up the box. But this is where Farnham needs to be careful on counter-attack. I will say something, and Jar Jar never scored for Farnham Town. Oh, you've, it said it, you've said it, yeah. you've said it now. It would be, it would consider be, it said. <laughs> stuff of fairy tales. I've just put that out there. <laughs> stuff of fairy tales. He's had a great, another great game. He does, he has. Over 600 still with us for the first half of extra time here at the Memorial Ground. 1,100, more than 1,100 people in the house. Tom Smith for the ball in. It's a good ball in. Oh, I'll tell you what, goalkeeper does well there. Out back out to Tom Smith, yes. That's a poor ball in and, 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 it's, a, and it's a chance for Ballon to, to get the ball away. That's why I'm sat up here. Still a, a real want of Ballam to really spoil this and waste the game. First half, they really had their way. And out. Jaja filling in a sort of left back after the corner. Shamal Edwards out on the left hand side. And he's done him again. And he's gone down, but that was never a foul. Ball goes along. Tom Smith, Lamar Caroma, and Shadja back into his more natural centre back position. He's taking chances. Into Owen Dean. Oh, he needs to win that though, Owen Dean. Referee! And another chance for, and he's never going to get that. Well, brilliantly played from Farnham Town out from the back. Confident. Pat Nash. 
looks wide for Lewis Flatman. It's a really nice touch. And he won it back. He won it back. He turned. He turned. And that's a ball over the top. It's brilliant. There's a penalty! The referee has not given another penalty. What is going on? I'm really not sure what more he wants. I'm really not sure what more he wants. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, that one's nailed. That's nailed on, isn't it? That one. I mean, it's an open goal. Why would he? It's not, he didn't get the ball. Odd one. Comment down below the if you thought is, that was a penalty. It looked like thousand, it was a stonewaller to us. You've got a thousand people here. You've got 500 watching on YouTube. And Ooh. I don't think the, the refs had a terrible game, but he's, the, the, the penalty decisions just feel like they've been the wrong ones. But Final Town is still in the ascendancy. And it, and it was so, a, it he's was so a foul <laughs> for that. He gives, the, he gives the soft ones in the middle of the park. But the golden thing is that came at the end of such a fantastic move for Farnham. Yellow card for Jimmy Hibbert on the bench as he... Uh, I he, think I heard the ref uh, say he got the ball. If he believes that, he believes it. Certainly didn't look like it from up here. But, chance for Farnham Town to get the ball in. Have to forget the refereeing display and go above and beyond. Flatman with the ball in. It's a really dangerous ball in. Ballon can get it away, but it's absolutely to nobody. This is all Farnham Town now. Bradley Corzani has caused all sorts of issues as he's overlapped on the right-hand side. And Jaja steams forward. Steams forward! Slips him in! And it's a very, very good tackle, that one. And just looked fantastic as he steamed forward. He's created so many chances. They, they can't deal with that. They have no capability, especially with the runners out wide. They just they don't know whether they're coming or going, Arthur or Martha. 881 people watching online. That makes 2,000 people total. As over 1,100 people here at it's the Memorial Ground. It's another terrible ground. touch for number 16 as well. 16 has absolutely stunk the joint out since he's come on the pitch. I'm sorry to admit. Just, just but <laughs> there's always a chance. I seem to remember Euro 2016. Edir had a very poor game for Portugal. All game and then popped up with a winner. So I just hold our breath. Ball into Lewis Flam. Ball across to Richie Mbele. Can he find it wide? He can, but slightly behind. Stops Corzani, but he's been very good from here. Step over. It's a lovely weighted ball. Flatman. Someone's going to have to hit it. Oh, indeed! Great save. Great save. Really, really, really good save. Unbelievable. It looked, at every, it looked for all the world a hat trick and potentially a winner. It's the first ball in the box that's fallen for a Farnham player to have a shot. Just seen Owen Dean's dad there again. Very, very frustrated with that. He kind of toe-poked it. But it was a very, very good save. There is so many people behind the goal. Ball goes in. High foot, that'll be given. Ref saw, ref saw that one. Thank you to everyone who's now watching on live stream. As per all injury breaks, we uh, ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really does help us. Over 917 of this, you now. This tells you everything you need to know right now. Is that Ballam are running away with the ball? I've never really seen Ballam run away running with away with the ball. With the they want penalties, Ballam. They want penalties, but they've got, they've got 17 minutes to, 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 to wait for that. I think the mentality is just gone. 931 of you, uh, there's plenty of you that I know are not subscribed to the Farm Town YouTube channel. We create all sorts of different content, a behind the scenes documentary every single week called Non-League Diaries. You can find it on our channel right now. We record every single match, that's every single highlight, every single goal across the season. This is Farm Town's last game. Will it be a cup win? Who knows, but it's been a hell of a game, boys. It has been a hell of a game, and thank you very much for joining me. Oh, you're welcome. It's everything you would have wanted from a cup final. Uh, often, often cup finals are quite cagey and drab, but this has had everything.
think it's one of those things where the, the players don't have anything else to play for. They're all going to be off for Avon Summer. It's, this is it, right? Leave and he everything. Need, leave everything out there. I wonder if we'll see Matty Sermon off the bench. We've not yet seen a Farnham Town sub. And yet Farnham are by far the healthier, fitter, more confident side at the moment and have been for the last, I don't know, 40, 50 minutes. Ball forward, number 16 wins that one. That's where he's going to be valuable, but there's a ball. I'll tell you what, that was not a terrible effort. It really wasn't, number eight. But slightly indicative of their lack of creativity and, they just and forward play. They yeah, they just didn't want to play that ball forward. 20 seconds left in the half. Meet and forward. Really nice flick on from Lewis Flatman. Shamal Edwards. Edwards does defend. Defending in twos against Shamal Edwards is one of the only ways you can deal with him. Lewis Flatman. And Jaja. Back to Flatman. Playing a more deep role here. There is a single minute. No, a he's, single minute. He's, he's indicated there is a thousand minutes of injury time, apparently. That's why you don't get fourth officials at this, <laughs> this level. They don't have to use the electronic displays. That's up, but not away from Ballon. And Bele into Shamal Edwards. Get the ball wide to Tom Smith. It's not gone. It's a great, it's a great. The lineman there has got that one wrong. Lino, sorry, he's Lino got that said one the wrong. ball had gone out just before. It had not gone out. We've got the perfect view from up here, and the ball had definitely not gone out. So another really important decision. Our, our cameras will have the perfect angle for that. Yeah, that one. You see the one last night for City, that was a lot further out than this one was. Farnham Town aggrieved again as the ball did fall in the box for them. But they need to make something count, and that is half time for the extra time. Not got a lot left. <laughs> <laughs> you or them? <laughs> a little bit of frustration there in the crowd. I mean, I think they're booing the ref there mainly, but I think we all wanted to see a, see a goal there in the first half of extra time down at that end and, and you, you do just, just worry like you said Frankie if, if we didn't score in the first half of extra time does that now sort of swing the advantage slightly back to Ballon I don't want to overplay the, the impact or effect of the crowd but it did feel like they were sucking the ball towards the goal there in moments in that first half yeah definitely and uh, that advantage is gone now but um, you know 15 minutes to play looks like Ballon happy with penalties that, that they seem to think that's their best chance of winning the game and, and I don't disagree with them it's going to, be, it's going to come from a Farnham error a, a counter attack off a Farnham attack or, or but, it, uh, but it's just surprising how, how much they've lost their way from a team that were in control of this brilliant. game at 2-0 they're, they're, now, they're now even from the second minute of, of, of the first half of extra time the goalkeeper's getting booked for time wasting there's still 28 minutes left that, that seems a bizarre Kind of body language, bad. I think the subs, ethic. the subs have killed them really. That like every every player they've brought on has been worse than the player that started. But that you do get at this level, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, that's 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 true. Like it's hard to carry a but, squad of fifteen. But then maybe you you don't make that. You don't what, don't don't blink so so fast, right? That's because what Jono and Jimmy have done, right? They've waited for their subs. They've kept the same team. That's the, the team that were two 0 down and uh, have basically called their way back into this game. Now if you look on the pitch, you've got a sort of unorganised. Ballum group and a together Farnham Town group who've been in this situation only 10 days ago and they made it happen. Uh, and, and subs now for Farnham could be vital because those fresh legs in that 15 minute period could be, could be the difference. But Johnson and him it will be thinking about penalties and your penalty takers and Farnham Town have not had a penalty shoot out of this yet. They haven't and Ballum have. Yes, very true. And I think Farnham got to be really careful here not to let the aggrieve, you know, their sort of mentality against the referee here spill over because if they do, they're going to get caught on the break. Um, so, yeah, big half of extra time coming up. Farnham's first final since 2016. Been a lot of excitement around the club this year. They've got 15 minutes left in what's been a dramatic season, and I'm sure we're about to see another dramatic 15 minutes. 
It could go either way. And it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure to watch this cup final. Um, what an incredible finale to Farnham season. It's, it's the season that will never end. This is, this, this is as long as it could get. Uh, if it goes to a penalty shootout, then... It's, it could it's, be here all night. <laughs> I do that. Interestingly, I know we should maybe talk about it now, but penalties, I fancy Pat taking one, to be honest. It strikes the ball really well. Uh, but we have got a lot of good balls. It would be a five. Can. Flatman, but I wouldn't take him. Uh, Flatman at three. Owen Dean at one. Confidence. Mbele. Shams. Tom Smith. Will be my five. It's a kick and run, and he's the fastest man I've ever seen. Goalkeeper will not fancy that, but he deals with it well. Max Meaton sends it, sends it to, long. To do that after 105 minutes of non-league football is remarkable. On this pitch, he has covered the length of that of that pitch. Oh, it's made my seconds. legs hurt. <laughs> I got cramp watching it. If you're still watching in a Ballon pub. Thank you for staying with us. You're on to your 10th IPA. Yeah. <laughs> Much like most of the Farnham Town fans behind that goal. It's been a brilliant cup final. It's just died every time it's gone up to 16, hasn't it? How, uh, I'd be tempted to bring him back off. <laughs> Jaja. Here he goes. Someone's got to drop him for him, though. And that's nice. Bradley Corzani. Finds the pass, but it's in a dangerous area of the pitch. Mbele. Flat. Tried something, but that's taken a nick. The Mars going to have to cover it. Goes into number seven. Does really well. Gets the ball forward. You're not going to get past him. Pretty naive decision to run up against Ange there. There's a man on there. Final time really starting to stress me out. No other way of putting it. Good header. Balam are going back into this game. That's a really nice touch. And number 14, he's not giving it. And that's a brilliant, brilliant tackle. And the worst shout for a penalty all night from the Balam bench. And there's 100 players down. Number eight's down. Play on, play on Farnham Town. Lewis Flatman. Lewis Flatman. You had the ball, you could have kicked it out. Corzani. Great ball in. Oh, great chance. Not sure what he's given that for. And now there's players out on their feet. Ange. Being one of them. Okay, substitutions coming on now. Matty Sermon, first appearance for three and a half months after a broken collarbone. Last appearance, Hawley, as captain, scored. Number 14. Go on, Matty. He will come on for captain, Lamar Caroma. And he will hand the captain's armband to Matty Sermon. And he puts it straight on. His last appearance is wearing the captain's armband, as it is now. Flatman wanted it. Flat, he wanted it. <laughs> Flat, he wants it. He scored, he scored with it twice. Look, I mean, fair play to Sermon. He's, he's, you know, we've got a few weeks off here to get fit, and he's risked it all to come back and play a cup final. Shows you the sort of atmosphere that Johnson and Hibbert are creating in the dressing room, that they've got players, you know, busting down the door to come back and play, because I know, I know a lot of players that wouldn't have. Yeah, it'd be easy to be on, on the beach, on your holly bobs. Yeah. Oh, God, he used the word holly bobs. Yeah. It's a shame. <laughs> it's on a live stream in front of a thousand people. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Just to remember, we've got a stoppage in play, so you're bored of Harry saying it, but I'm going to say it. Yeah, Make sure you subscribe to the Farnham Town YouTube channel. Um, if you think this year was good in terms of non-league diaries, we're looking to take it to another level next season um, and really, you know, showcase what should be another tremendous season. Um, Farnham Town, this is the, you know, they've never played outside of Step 5, so next season they'll be definitely going for a promotion. But uh, they've got another 10 minutes to go in what's been a gripping game and hopefully they can uh, get over the line.
think it's quite a serious injury here for, for number eight. Yeah, he's it's been a, he's, a he's actually he's been one of Ballon's best players. Yeah. Really has, and probably one of their key penalty takers. Yeah, you would think the way he strikes the ball. I think he scored a really good goal um, at the Mayfield Stadium against Farnham. Uh, touch and hit. Yeah, I think it was him. Apologies if it was someone else's goal who I've just stolen, but um, Jack Hare was it? This will mean added time is extended, but yeah, he's not going to continue. A lot of cramp, a lot of players sort of stretching out the cramp. Yeah, it's a serious injury. He's not putting any any yeah. weight on. Anyway, it looks like an ankle, doesn't it? Yeah. We didn't actually see what happened. No, it was quite it was, a bit it, innocuous. Wasn't it when Ernst drove out? Don't know how long ago that was. The well, whole Alan had the ball because they didn't put it out. But exactly, Bannerman had the ball. Yeah, he's been fantastic all night. Sad to see him leave the pitch as a neutral. Um, Definitely a very good player. Um, but as a Farm Town fan, you know, you're you're keen to see players that are some of the best on the pitch leave the pitch, but unfortunately not in those circumstances. Play on, as number 12 comes on for number 8, at Ballum. I think he's pretty devastated, and, and why wouldn't you be? Farnham, Henning Ballum in there, but they Ballum played really, really, well, really, yeah. really well. Really, really well. Oh, oh, oh. Foul on and Jaja. A rare decision goes Farnham's way. I mean, and as it should, because yeah. he went through the back of him. He's got a little bit of pace, that number 14. <coughs> speaking, with, speaking with Matty, I know he's been desperate to play. He's been sat on the sidelines for a few months. Finally gets his opportunity. Don't think he thought it would come in these circumstances. And credit to him. He's been at every training session, every game. He's travelled yeah. home and away. He's been supporting the boys, despite only making three prior appearances for Farnham Town. It's number 14. It's quick. And he's done well, and that's not enough. But it was one of Ballum's best chances, and he looks like a threat on the counter attack. I'm not sure why he's only just come on. No. He looks like he could be a real, real threat. He would have been my first change over 16. <laughs> yeah. Ball forward by Pat Nash. I mean, he wins the header. He's got a hold of Shamsy's shirt there. Edwards yeah. wins the free kick. Not sure what the Ballon bench can protest there. There was a handful of shirt. A handful of Shamsy's shirt. This is a chance. This is a very similar position to the goal Farnham scored at the death against Jersey. Balls away. Flatman's going to shoot. And Flatman has got the ball. He would raise the roof here with a goal. The only roof is above us in the gantry, but he'd raise it. He's probably one of the best ball strikers at our level. If not the level above, you really and the are level you're above setting, that. setting them up to. to this is very like that messy goal. <laughs> the mean. Flatman. And it's absolutely, I mean, it's in about eight people's gardens behind. And that's uh, exactly the same as that messy meme. So I look forward to cutting it up. <laughs> Those people in Balham, I know they're big fans of rugby, so they would have appreciated that. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's the one you just want to put on target. That was. Terrible. It actually took some trees off that oak tree. Absolutely took, terrible. He took quite a lot of branches off. I will enjoy oh, I will enjoy clipping that one up and sending it to him. Ballon playing out from the back again, even in the depths of extra time. Ball forward. Pushing the back, but Matty Sermon gets it. High 
and forward. Headed by Shams, but it's to nobody. That's up in the air, but it's also to nobody from, from the Ballam defender. Now Shamal Edwards, who hasn't really got into the game, but he's got past his man there. Oh, what a chance for Flatman. He got some space. Ball just couldn't fall for him. And that's a poor pass as well. Ballon ball. He's had a terrible minute there, Flatty. Yeah, after the conversation. I'll tell you what though, Final Town do need to be careful of this new number 14 that's come on. I mean, it ma he makes sense alongside 16. Yes. Yeah, running off of him, he's, he's already Keep caused a couple of problems. Frankie Hobbs there coaching from the gantry. <laughs> Over a thousand of you watching alongside us. Matty Sermon clears it. Ball goes into the middle. Sermon. Really nice. Out wide. First time with his left foot into Shamal Edwards, who shoots wide. Yeah, it looks like this this Cruz Rosa. He's just playing sort of ahead of him now. Um, he, he just he just sort of made the let's switch over hand gesture uh, international, um, and it's causing Ange a few other problems that he hasn't had to deal with for the last hundred minutes. And that is true because we're into the last four minutes I think of be a couple. extra time. But we do believe there will be a couple of added minutes, and then it will be the ill-fated penalties. The the way you never want to lose. One really enjoyable way to win it. That's a Ballam throw. Didn't look like it, but it's a Ballam throw. Uh, if, you, if this does go to penalties and you win the toss as Farno, where do you want to kick? And the, there's a lot of pressure kicking in front of the clock end. No? No. You'd want to kick in front of the clock all day long. Ball goes long from Ballam. Forward. What a touch that is. Don't know why he's only just come on. And the fact. Maybe that's why he's... But... <laughs> Look at Ange go, he's winding the crowd up. Farnham only have a few more minutes here to complete the comeback. And there's now officially more people watching the stream than in the ground, which I did not think was possible when I was told the official attendance here at the Memorial Ground was 1,143, but there's 1,200 people watching online. In non-league, on a Wednesday night, in Farnham, against Ballam in the Southern Combination Cup Final. Long from Pat Nash. Farnham ball. Into Shamal, roll him. Shamal Edwards. They've doubled up on him really well. Every single it. time. And it's done really well. So such a poor touch. Meter. Looks for it. That was a smart, smart ball. Just over here. Maybe a bit too straight, but it was a lovely run from Lamin Cisse. And that is the pressure. That is the pressure of a cup final. Throw from the goalkeeper straight out of play. Farnham Town regained the ball. Ah, uh, hoiked on, but not enough. And that is another one where it feels like, well, it's just ruined someone's bonnet. Where it feels like it's getting to Ballam, but they only have a couple more minutes to go. Can Farnham fashion a chance in these last few moments? Ange, Jaja. That's very poor. Richie and Bella. Bradley calls on him. Richie and Bella. Drifts past one. Tries to find the ball. And now Fallon is going to come back. Fallon are going to come back at Farnham Town here. Knocks it into space. And he's he, uh, 16 has nearly fallen over himself as he's run. I'm not sure he's ever run before. It was astonishing. The player who they need to be running in behind is number 14. He's already caused Farnham some trouble. Shamal Edwards does well, wins a Farnham throw. Comes out, Matty Sermon. That is incredibly over here and the sign of a rusty footballer. 
would say though, four, five minutes even just in this extra time, there's been so many stoppages and the very lengthy one for the poor number eight as well. Yeah. So you could be looking at another five minutes. I'm not sure I can take it anymore. I'm not sure I can take it anymore. What are you meant to do with penalties, eh? Score them. <laughs> Ballam have given up with the short. Probably smart. <laughs> yeah. They've started to get caught out a bit, so that's probably smart. It's a really nice kick into seven, who's been by far... By far, Ballon's best player. And that's really nicely worked from Lamin Cisse. Owen Dean just hasn't got that, but that is brilliant from Richie. Ballon do well. Four minutes of additional time. That's four minutes. Lewis Flatman finds it wide. Lamin Cisse. And that is not what the doctor ordered. And we have recoiled away in the gantry because and Cissé is uh, struggling with cramp. It's the only way he's going to get away with that. With that cross. Players struggling out there, Mark Godfrey. Players struggling out there, heavy, I'm, heavy. I'm struggling. Honestly, I can feel myself tightening up. What an opportunity just to get the ball in the box. But I, I could, could have even carried on driving. Yeah, he could have run in the box. thing is, if he's pulling up like that, he probably didn't have it. I feel like he's pulling up because he's overstretched when he's hit it, then, yeah. rather than run. I mean, it should come off. <laughs> ball forward from the Ballon goalkeeper. 16. 14's always looking to roll. He's done well. Pat Nash. Farm Town do well to stop Ballon coming forward. Fourth, how long? Is it extra time? Yeah, we're on to into four. How two? Three or two. Thanks. Two minutes remaining here at the Memorial Ground. If you're watching, you're probably, unless something happens in the next couple of minutes, going to see penalties here in this cup final. Ballon with a the throw. They've created very little in this second half, but they do look dangerous when they come forward. That's a foul to Farnham Town. Oh. And that, that should be a low card all day long, but it won't matter too much. And another one. Still a £12 fine. <laughs> Small wins. <laughs> Small wins for, for the league and the cup. It's a moral victory. Farnham Town playing quickly. Oh. Not sure I like those pieces of play. That's nice. Nice, and it's a great touch. Is that a corner? It's a corner ball to Farnham Town with one minute and six seconds to go. If we believe the fourth official. If you can't, then who, do, who can you believe? Who can you believe if you can't believe the fourth official? This could be one of the last kicks of the game. 50 seconds left. Farnham love a late goal. This would be very late. 124 minutes played here at the Memorial Ground. It's a ball in. It's underneath the crossbar. It's in! Farnham Town have done it! They've done it! I couldn't tell you who scored! But it's a hell of a ball in, and Farnham Town have scored in the 124th minute in this cup final. I think it's Lewis Flatman. Ballum, there's streakers on the pitch. There's streakers on the pitch. They think it's all over. Farnham Town. Anton. No, no, get him off there. It's cooking a bird for coming on the pitch. It's, it's a yellow. It's a late goal. It's a brilliant goal. 
It was a brilliant ball in. It wasn't a brilliant goal, it bundled in, it was non-league, and we're here to see but it. But the ball was fantastic. That's right, he what put it on the in. And the goalkeeper didn't know what to do. And it wasn't, he literally was the last kick of the game, surely. Time's up. Time's up. Please. First sub Time's of the game. Second. Second sub. Second sub. sub. Substitution for Thornham Town. Anton Matthews coming on. Wouldn't have been a penalty taker. Wouldn't have been a penalty taker. He would not have got on the pitch if that goal hadn't gone in. I think I can confirm it was Lewis Flatman who scored the goal. The flatty final. Flamin Cisse coming on, what a performance he's put in. Go, go, go. Flamin, quality, mate. Farnham Town. Look at the way that Ballam have lined up. Ballam are playing I don't think they've NFL. got a kick. I don't think they've got a kick. They're playing NFL. This is, they're still desperate to work it. And they've, they've done really well. It's gonna be a throw in to Ballon. We're talking about the last few seconds here. Goalkeeper coming up. Four minutes played. That's, a, that's an unbelievable throw. Why haven't they used that all game? What is he doing? No foul there for Farnham Town. Foul, Farnham Town. I will warn you now, people watching on the stream, there is no time left, and I will be... That's it! That is it! Farnham Town, a Southern Combination winners! It's a famous night in Farnham. This club is on its way to success, and this could be the first night of that success. All credit to Ballum. But Paul Johnson and Jimmy Hibbert's men have come back from two goals down and showed heart, desire, character to win Farnham's first trophy since 2016. My word. My word. Sevon Golf below me. Sevon Golf. He's normally watching hashtag win every week. It's boring, but not at Farnham Town. We win in the last minute. What? And it's a, it's a pitch invasion. It's a pitch invasion, and I, I for one, I'm going to stay up here. <laughs> Flay, it was you, right? No, oh, right, who the fuck scored? Dino. Hat trick for Dino! Yeah. Owen Dean with a cup final Not hat trick. No wow. We couldn't see it, it we, were, we were celebrating too much here in the game. I was thinking it must be Flatman because I saw his ball coming in, but I'm like, in He's score. also clapped and cheered with every single player as if he has scored after the game. It's what a famous, famous night at Farnham Town. Incredible comeback. 2 0 down. Three Half two an hour minutes. to go. Half an hour to go. And we've done it with what is basically the last kick of the game. Oh my word. Oh my word. This club never fails to entertain me and cause me anxiety attacks. What, what a way to finish the season with a winner in the last second of extra time. What a way to sign off. Your first season as a club owner. Oh God, it's been, it's been stressful, but these moments are what you do it for, right? Oh, Dean, he's one of our own. Patrick here, Owen Dean, local boy, 18 years old, just signed a contract with us to keep him here next season. He's played for Farnham Town since he was eight years old. And just to take a moment to reflect, you know, a night like tonight, you know, gonna, this is going to make the you know, local papers. This is a moment. This is a moment. Fans on the pitch celebrating with the players. Momentum going into next season. People seeing That's that brilliant. scoreline. Two nil down. Half an hour to go. Three two winners. This is a club you can get behind. This is a club you can come down and watch. Say, uh, say congratulations. We're unlucky, mate. Ibrahim. But it was a great game. Great, great final. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. See you next season. Two minutes. We'll let the crowds dissipate off the pitch. Pete the groundsman would have killed people 
if this had happened in any other circumstances, Mark. But well, if they were out there uh, yesterday morning, they'd be currently underwater. <laughs> Absolutely. This final should never have happened. It should never have happened, Mark Godfrey. I was not, here. With, not with our scuba masks. <laughs> I was here at 9pm last night. I was swimming. Kaitana below me, delighted. Owen Dean, hat-trick hero, his best mate. Fantastic scenes. I feel, I do feel for Ballum because it takes two to tango, Mark, and they were brilliant. Oh, they time. danced the dance. They danced the dance. <laughs> what a night! Famous. And for, Famous. And for the and for all the people watching at home, you know, 300, 300 viewers right up to 1,200, 1,300 viewers. Um, you've been treated to an absolute spectacle. Thank you so much. We are going to cut. We are going to cut in the next couple of seconds, but thank you so much for watching. Please, before you do leave, do subscribe. We create loads of YouTube content. We're a different kind of non-league club. We create content. We put it out there. We've got a documentary, and we re we uh, put out. I've got loads of people going over to me in the country. I'm going to have to go, but thank you very much. I will see you next season.